click. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah, we're ready, let's, bud. Let's, it says stop, uh, stop recording. It, but we are recording. Oh, okay. Well, well then why does <laughs> it say, does it to him every time? <laughs> every time. <laughs> he's like, he's like, so why does it say stop recording? <laughs> but uh, hello, everybody. It's Bonsai Movie Crew. You know who it is? It's Matt. And <laughs> I'm here with Joseph and Karen. Okay, Joseph's going to do news. Enjoy it. <laughs> My God. <laughs> <laughs> it's always it's always a pleasure <laughs> when Matt's hosting. It's so good. Um, what do we got here? All right, I got a little bit of news. Um, some of this stuff is kind of interesting. A couple of little interesting uh, uh, tidbits here. Uh, so first off, uh, I'm going to start out with trailers. Uh, so there's a new uh, trailer for that Mario Brothers movie that's out. We checked that out earlier today, yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. So they showed a little bit more of the movie. I'm kind of a... Even though it's a cartoon, it looks good. I think it looks awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it looks really it. good. It comes out the day before my birthday. I'm definitely taking my kids. So. Yeah. It looks like a good one you can take your kids to for sure. Um, so it looks like it's got uh, a little bit of everything in it. Like It looks like it's doing some... I don't know if this, it's a Super Smash Brothers thing or if it's just a Donkey Kong in... And Mario, Mario thing. I was wondering. If I it, thought if it was it, like a little bit of everything as yeah, well. There, there was like definitely the Mario. Mario card. It has the Mario Kart in it, yeah. which is pretty cool. Yeah. So but I saw uh, like Donkey Kong and yeah. Then, yeah. So I, I'm just hoping they're building up to like. I hope I heard that Nintendo is doing this thing, where they're like building it up, kind of like a a, a multiverse. Or, oh, that would. Be or not cool. like a multiverse, but like a whole cinematic. Universe, universe here would, with all their Nintendo the previews, characters. Like the queens, the princess says. There's a whole bunch of universes. So Yeah, and I'm okay with that, dude. That would be awesome to be on like to be honest with you. Because Marvel's done it and they've tried it with a few other properties. I think that this would be the most the coolest way to do it. Like, sure, and it's it's it right Mar- that they would open it up with Mario. Yeah, yeah. exactly. If, if they did it with Mario and made it like a multiverse thing, it would make sense. Exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm hoping like next they do like Zelda. You know what I mean? And like yeah. and then like a whole movie. About Zelda beating Ganondorf and all that stuff, it'd be so cool. Yeah, it would. I'd be, I'd be down for all that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't even play much Ninten- Nintendo, but I would dig that too. But you, you grew up on them characters, yeah. you know what I mean? You know all of them. So, mm-hmm. uh, so anyway, um, so that's that. Uh, if you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. It's a really good. It, oh, it's not just a teaser; it's an actual trailer. Yeah. Um, but that comes out April seventh, I believe, as long as they haven't changed the the release date. I didn't see the date. Released that's it that's what it, w- it was originally. It was April seventh. So as long as they haven't pushed it back or anything, um, they've I, been doing that with a lot of movies. I, they always do it, man, for reshoots or well, redesigns. When twenty twenty hit and the pandemic, they pushed a lot of stuff back. Yeah, here lately, it's been because of either directors or actors. Yeah, I remember they did the same thing with the Sonic movie. They had to push it back, but that was because the they completely Sonic looked crazy. Yeah, <laughs> they, 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 they had to completely redesign well, Sonic. With him. Well, <laughs> look at him. He looked like a god, like I was Sonic just, on I was crack. Just kidding. I was <laughs> like, he was like Sonic's like creepy, gr- like maybe, g- gre- creepy maybe, uncle. Maybe he lost too much weight. They had to wait for a while, yeah. let him gain it back up. You know, so though, you got to get off the drugs, I man. Yeah. I, I tried watching it, and I got like halfway through it, and I was like, ah, oh, I'm done. Sonic's good. I liked, I liked it. liked it. I liked it. A lot, kids actually. love those. The yeah. kids love those yeah. movies, man. They're they're good. Um, uh, also, there's we just saw this today. A uh, new trailer for Cocaine Bear. Yes, I seen a thing yes. yesterday, and they were like, Dude. "They're making a movie for Cocaine Bear," and I was like, "What the heck's Cocaine it's, Bear?" It's it's based on actual events. Yeah. I can tell you the actual events. So how this went down was there was this guy. <laughs> Okay. I, I read the how. Oh, the did you? Event. Okay, well, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna say it for everybody else. I'm just gonna give you a little rundown. So apparently, back in the '80s, there was a guy who was transporting. I think about. I want to say around like 12 million dollars in cocaine. Yeah, yeah a lot was, of cocaine. And yeah. he jumped out of, of a plane trying to. Um, Metric shit ton of cocaine. Yeah, he tra- jumped out of a plane and tried to uh, trying to smuggle this cocaine, and apparently his chute didn't work, and so he just went splat. <laughs> in someone's driveway or some shit. So they, they, they got a bunch of cocaine off of They found like $12 million worth of cocaine on him. But apparently there was a second bag of cocaine that had landed somewhere else. And uh, I heard it was crates. Like crates of cocaine. No, I'm pretty sure it was just a, like a big bag of cocaine. Okay, but either... But yeah, like, so this other bag of cocaine happened to land somewhere in the woods or something, and a bear got into it. Well... 
the bear didn't go on this like crazy fucking rampage. No, it he just, just OD'd and yeah, died. Yeah, okay. I was <laughs> so, gonna say, yeah, but the, I read the, the story. The bear just died. Yeah, died. the implication. <laughs> but, so, but the implication but apparently, of what could have happened. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so apparently, what happened was this bear is now traveled around the country in, in different museums. As the cocaine bear. Yeah. They and also call it, they also have a name for it. It's Pablo Escobar. Yeah, Pablo Escobar. <laughs> I didn't yeah. hear that. Yeah, Pablo Escobar. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, he's just a bear with a sign around his neck and I think a hat. Yeah. And it just says cocaine bear. <laughs> That's amazing. So, yeah, they call him Pablo Escobar. That's, a, that's the so, best thing ever. But this movie, this trailer, like I heard about this movie a while back and it's directed by Elizabeth Banks. Everybody, you know that. I love her. her. Yeah. Okay, so, I love her. That I makes that, that already I was like, okay, I'm on board for this. Um, I didn't think it was going to be as like dirty minded as it is. I guess you could say because there's a lot of cuss. It's a little overboard. Elizabeth Banks, dude. but it, but Elizabeth Banks has done like she never. I mean, she did some st- like other comedies, but like she did like Pitch Perfect. You know what I mean? Like shit like that. Yeah. So like for this, and I'm like I'm like looking at this movie She's like a dirty girl. Though. She is. I like Elizabeth <laughs> yeah, Banks. Though. I love Elizabeth. She's Banks. a dirty girl. Yeah, I love her though. I think she's. I think. Oh, she's like great. she's one of my favorites. Yeah. So she. Um. So the movie is like a complete exaggeration of oh, that story. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like that. that there, I don't even think a, there's a guy that lands or anything. They just find this cocaine. Yeah. It's more like somebody the, threw the, it out of yeah, a plane. Yeah. Like somebody was and, throwing it out of the plane and and yeah, the authorities it, found it and then like a bear happened to find a, another stash of it. Yeah. Well, this bear goes on this fucking rampage <laughs> of on on cocaine. He's running faster than cars and fucking just destroying people like and, actually, and he's like fully like sprinting and actually, up trees like snorting the cocaine and actually, like, that they yeah. finds along the way he's, he's like he like bites it. a dude's leg off and then snorts can- cocaine yep. off of it i yeah. don't know it looks insane yep. and uh, i'm totally 100 down with watching oh i'm this definitely movie. watching it for sure yeah this movie that movie looks uh it looks like it's gonna be a good fucking time oh for sure um so that's all i really got for uh for trailers this week um i do have a little bit of news um so oh yeah, so um, Universal, like that Megan movie that's coming out. Oh, yeah. So Universal is already p- betting on making so much. Like, I guess they've already seen it, and they're already talking about green lighting a sequel, and it hasn't even released yet. Because I think they believe that they might have their next franchise on their hands. I'm sorry, but if you're going to do a sequel, you need to see what the people Well, think. I know. I understand that. Well, that's usually what happens is they do test audiences for... A movie, and depending on the reaction, sometimes they'll green light it. Like they did the same thing with X. Yeah. They watched. Uh, actually, they didn't even have a fucking movie for X yet. They yeah. just saw the trailer and was like, "We love it. Go ahead." And they're like, "Here's more money. Do more movies." Well, who's so the they director? went? He went ahead. Uh, that was for no for uh, Megan. The direct. Uh, I don't know the director who the director is, but James no Wan and Jason Blum are both involved involved in this. They're both okay. producers. And um, so that's my other part of news there because I'm I'm surprised that they're going to green light this already. Yeah. So and it, uh, I think a lot of it has to do with all the buzz behind the trailer. Yeah, I because mean, it's picking up a lot of traction on TikTok. And I was blown away that, by the so. trailer, but I mean, I don't know. Like X, I feel like with the test audience and it being Ty West, that was yeah. where that kind of came from. Yeah, but Ty West, he was he's a, he's a good director, but like. I, I couldn't imagine somebody only, just throwing money at sure, it. Sure, you know the only I mean? the only thing I'm saying though is that like every single movie he's done yeah. has gotten some kind of like buzz, big buzz, yeah, right? Big buzz, yeah. I've not been a fan of every movie he's done. No. I've been a fan of some movies he's done, but not every. I single couldn't even one. tell you all of his movies to be honest with you. I mean, you know, the only one I can really think of is that what was it, The Devil's House or whatever. I really like yeah, that the movie. Devil's House. I hated The Innkeepers and I liked X. So I mean, that's the only thing I, didn't I can like tell the you really. Innkeepers much either. It was too I, boring. Yeah, it was too very slow. boring. Um, so that brings me to my next set of news here, which pertains to that. So apparently, Blumhouse and Atomic, which is uh, which is James Wan's uh, um, studio. Yeah. Apparently, they're talking about joining to become one studio. I heard about that. And so if they do that, do you realize how they could dominate the fucking horror movie industry? I mean, I feel like Blumhouse already kind of does that. They do, but so does James Wan. Sure. Oh, I forgot. That's what it was. So the writer of of Malignant wrote this, wrote Megan. Okay. So they're expecting what we're expecting is that it's going to be bonkers off the wall kind of like malignant was and mm-hmm. if it's in the same tone or 
madness of what I got out of Miller Ignite, I'm 100% on board. Because I love Miller. I, I know a lot of people. I, I didn't care. I know. For I know a lot of people didn't like it. But I love that fucking movie. I, I liked thought it was the story. great. I liked Malignant. I liked the story. Yeah. It just didn't transfer well to. I did. I thought it was awesome. Yeah. I thought it was great. It didn't. It didn't transfer well to. It was film. fucking. It was insane. It was batshit crazy. Um. So anyway. Um. So yeah. So Blumhouse and Atomic Studios are talking about becoming one entity and just if they do, who's gonna tell them no? You know what I mean? Like, hey, we're going, we want to direct the next Freddy Cougar movie. Okay. No. Why would they say no? I'll tell them no. <laughs> Why would they say I'll no, tell them though? No. That's what I'm saying. I just, I. Because I don't wherever know. you get when two you get, powerhouses like that, who, big, who's going to stop them from getting whoever they want? But the problem is, when you get too big like that, that's when you start to suck. That's true, yeah. That's when you start to suck, and that's yeah. what makes me sad about this because I like most Blumhouse productions. Uh-huh. They, well, most of them. I yeah. said most, I yeah. didn't say all. I agree. Uh, we'll see, though. Maybe yeah. they won't. Maybe they will. Uh, James Wan's doing. This is sad news for me. In my opinion, I, do, I think it's, I'm I'm excited for it if it does happen. Mm-hmm. I think it could be a good thing. Godspeed. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm I don't have high hopes. <laughs> um, that's pretty much all I have for news. Or well, let me check my phone and see if I have anything else that I might have. You should have wrote it down. Well, I do. Or you I snapped. Organized it. man. <laughs> Is there something up you there? A little yellow string on your. <laughs> I don't grooming each other over here. Let me get that for you. Well, if I would have said it, he would have just went like this, and then it would still be on there and bother bothering me. Yeah, no, I don't have it. That's all I have for the rest of the show. Mm. That that is it. Okay, dokey. Okay, now the part of the show where we talk about what we've been watching. I haven't watched anything. <laughs> I've been trying to beat Far Cry 6, and it just keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> it just keeps going. Don't stop, <laughs> man. It is a very long game. I thought I was to I, the end. I've had it since the day it released, and I still haven't beat I it. I thought it was close to the end, and now I still think I'm close to the end, but I'm... I thought that I was going to kill like the I still guy, got another eight hours. And then, I fil- and then I found out there was another guy that I forgot about. <laughs> so... Yeah, I just been playing Far Cry Six, you know. With uh, just to d- stop, I just want it over. I just want it to end. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I haven't watched anything. But let's go to Joseph. <laughs> um, I watched. Uh, I watched some of that Beast movie, The Beast, with uh, Idris Elba. He fights a lion. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We I talked saw about that. bits and pieces of it. I didn't watch it all because it was Thanksgiving Day. And you were cooking. I was cooking, so I was in and out of the movie. What I saw, it looked pretty awesome. Uh, it looked really well done. Um, Idris Elba's a badass. I love that other dude that's in the movie. I can't remember his fucking name. He's from Hardcore Henry, and uh, uh, he's also in um, uh, District 9. I know and, who you're talking yeah. about. He was like the main guy, the yeah. main nine guys, and because he was like nine guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so I, he was in it, um, and I love him. Uh, he plays a normal dude, though. He doesn't play like a crazy oh, yeah. like, which is weird because I'm used to seeing him in like crazy fucking roles and like in Hardcore Henry. Like, you know, it was funny because I saw him in District Nine, and then after that, like then that's when I started noticing him. Exactly. Yeah. Same here. <laughs> so he's an awesome actor. I love him. Um, but anyway, because uh, he also played the crazy guy in A Team, the mo- the movie, the remake, the movie. I haven't seen him. In such he, a long well, time. I can't remember his name, but he's the pilot. From None of these movies. I, I haven't seen any of these None of movies. None think, of them. Not Face. That's uh. That was. Um, I, I saw the trailer for Maduk? District Nine. Maduk? Does that count? Uh, yeah, that's his name. Uh, Murdoch. 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 I think District Nine's on my list. Oh, it's awesome. You, you know, know the funny know. thing about District. Nine, I know. Weird, right? Yeah, the funny thing that I remember about District Nine is every guy I talked to loved that movie. Every girl hated it. I'll probably like it. <laughs> yeah, see, Karen's more of on that dude spectrum. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> yeah. Um, so I watched that, and then I'm, th- uh, I want to say, I've got, I'm six episodes into the Wednesday series. Um, I've got How two you episodes like that? left. Uh, it's good. It's good. Is I it like good? it. Um, I've got a few things with uh, that I didn't care much, so much for. Like, I don't like the guy who plays Gomez, um, uh, Luis Guzman is yeah. his name. Yeah, uh, I don't like him as Goose, or as Gomez so much. He doesn't have 
But uh, my my thing is though is the problem is we grew up with one. We Gomez. grew up with the one Gomez from the Adams Family movies, whereas. <laughs> They're trying to. I think they're trying to take a little bit they're more. They're trying from to go the with show. the comic. No, they're trying to go with the comic. The comic had a um, Gomez that was a little bit more full face, like the big guy, um, <laughs> right. and that's where they're trying to get their inspiration from. And he was a little more campy, a little more. I will. You know. I will. It, was, it wasn't. He wasn't uh, Raul Julia. Well, he wasn't very. He's not very campy in the in the show. The no. Way. He's not. He doesn't have a lot of charisma. Is the problem, and mm-hmm. he's just he's just kind of there. You know what I mean? Like he does have his moments, and he is like an endearing person but like he just doesn't have that charisma okay. so See, i won't watch it because one i don't like the guy who plays gomez yeah. i don't like the guy who plays uncle fester i haven't got that's the next episode is <laughs> and I, don't, I haven't watched that one yet and i don't like what the the direction they're going with it uh it's not supposed uh, it's not supposed to be adam's family it's not adam's family yeah, it's not supposed to be violent and stuff. It's supposed to be campy. Uh, well, technically, it's 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 based off of a TV. It's all based off of a TV show. From yes, and have you watched the TV show? Yeah, it's very it's black campy. And white. It's kind of campy. It's more of a sitcom, really. Like in the original, Wednesday had feelings. She wasn't like this. She wasn't the Wednesday you got in the movies. Right. So she was very they, they she was very much a child still. They took a lot of liberties yeah. in the movies that so we So she was with. very much a child. I remember one episode I watched of the original show. Wednesday came home from school crying and when her mother asked her what was wrong, she said she was crying because uh, in the story instead of the hero the hero killed yeah. the dragon. Yeah. Well, she was sad that the dragon had died. Right. I remember so she that did episode. show feeling, but it was still it just, in that yeah, it was right. in that very morbid right. manner. Right. I watched so. I watched I watched uh, some of some of the uh, original and I really liked it. I, I don't know why I stopped watching it. I think I just got interested in something else. But I liked yeah, I liked the uh, cuz uh, yeah, the kids had more feeling. Yeah. And those and uh, yeah, also have had, you ever seen a color picture of that house? Yeah, it's pink. It's like pinks, and yeah, it's really it? bright. That's they had to <laughs> for it to give the right hue and black and say, white. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but the show itself, it's not bad. I would recommend it for sure. Um, um, I, I'm enjoying it. Me and Crystal are trying to get through it, you know, as much as we can. Uh, but we've stopped watching everything else just to watch this, so yeah. it must be good. Uh, it gets got its moments where you're like, okay, come on. But dude, the girl Jenna Ortega is Wednesday. She's She's killing that it. That would dude. be the only reason I would just kill it. really give it a, a shot. Is because yeah. I really like her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the I, other and honestly, just, her parents really aren't in but like a couple of episodes. Uh, so like it's mostly just her and her classmates. And Thing. Thing is right, thing, right. In, like, every uh, yeah, I know Thing is most <coughs> Well Thing is always hers, right? Thing was always hers. Oh, well, thing is like more of just the family. Thing. So I don't like what they did with Thing either. Why? Thing's a hand. Yeah. Okay. Well, in that one, he's like all stitched together and stuff. I could care less that he's I don't, stitched together. I don't care for that. I like just um, like the regular old. I just think that Jenna Ortega's killing it. And I think her friends, like you would think they would be annoying, but they're not. They're like even her supposed best friend or whatever. Mm-hmm. She's got like she's very colorful, which is the opposite of Wednesday. Sure. And she's uh, she's very bubbly and flamboyant. And even she doesn't get on my nerves. So, hmm. um, and Catherine Zeta Jones. A lot of I've heard some people complain about her Morticia. But I think she's doing a fine job. I wouldn't say that she would be doing a bad job. Yeah. I, I can't really see where she'd be doing a bad job. Yeah. The, only, the only one that I was ever concerned about at all was Luis Guzman. So Luis Guzman is the only one I had. I can understand he looks like him. He look. He has the look. But he just yeah. he doesn't he doesn't do it for me. He has the look that they were going for. Yeah. If you if He's you look not at the comic, actor. if you look at the comic, no. I've never he looks s- like. The comic, right? I've seen. Yeah, the comic I've seen the comic. He, yeah, and, and then the bulging comic, eyes and that full face. He's yeah, got a fuller face and stuff. Yeah, and the comic, I like the, the the version of him in the comic. I like the way he looks. But yeah, the guy who they just picked to do him, I won't watch because I don't like it. And Uncle Fester has always been my favorite character, so yeah. I just don't like who they because the guy from. What is that, Portlandia? Yeah. Yeah, why can't we ever remember it? I remember his name I, Fine he's, off air. He's, uh, he's also do. the Escoozy guy. Yeah, I, I remember I, his I name Fine when uh, we're not recording. I don't like him. I cannot I don't freaking stand I don't, I don't like guy. him either. He has a very stale sense of humor. Yeah, and he's the only per- He's the reason why I never watched Portlandia, because I just yeah. don't like him. I, I watched one episode of Portlandia, and I was like, this is stupid. It's crazy, because everybody <sighs> thinks he's so funny, but like, I... I don't think he's funny. I don't think he's funny at all. I don't all. think he's funny at all. Well, because he was also... I used to watch that Kimmy Schmidt. 
Unbreakable. Yeah. And he was in that, and I hated every episode he was in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I just don't care for – I don't care for him. I don't know what it is. I just don't think he's funny. I um, have his name written down from last week somewhere. But I also uh, – I've always liked Uncle Fester, but I think the main part I liked him in the movies was because he's played by Christopher Lloyd. Yeah, he oh yeah, Christopher Lord killed it. He killed it. it. Like, yeah. <laughs> him as him as Fester was just what the whole them movies though, that like I said though, those were the standard that we went by yeah. for the Adams family because that's what we grew up on. And they were fucking awesome. They were awesome movies. Both of them were, really. Mm-hmm. And I just I don't know. Like anyway, that's all I've that's all I've uh watched this week, so um, Fred Armisen. Yeah, see, I, I'll, you're I st- welcome. I, still, I knew I wrote it down somewhere. I still won't remember it. I won't either. <laughs> but every time we get on on here, we say it. We say that poor Landia guy. Like none of us can remember his name. So I wrote it down. It's <laughs> like we've said his name. We've said that literally. You need like, to write it on the wall somewhere. I like, know. We literally Armisen. said that like five times. I think where it's well, like right, that poor Landia guy. Nobody well, right can remember there, his name. Right there tells you that we don't care enough. Exactly. That's what it I'm, is. Yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah. Well, I wrote it down. Because it was something that we talked about last week, but like, oh yeah, my was, god, I can't. He was st- the, I know, yeah, but like, it was, it, no, it was it was something that I guy. wanted to talk about regarding him. Oh, mm-hmm. so I wrote the name down, but like, I can't stand the guy. I don't like him either. Everybody's like, oh, he's so funny. He's so deadpan and not in the good way. Yeah, yeah. don't get me wrong. You you, you, you get a there, dose of him. The he's funniest, okay. the funniest thing he did was the Muscuzi. Okay, the Muscuzi guy was <laughs> like and that's probably the funniest he, thing I might have ever seen him do. Yeah, and that's only because he's got like what three minutes of screen yeah. time. And he's just Muscuzi, <laughs> Muscuzi. There, there, there's there are times when dry humor is funny. Sure. Yeah. But he's nothing but dry humor. Yeah, but I mean, and dry is in like there's no yeah. lubrication at all, and no. you need a yeah, little bit. Yeah, we're just, bit, we're just taking it really lube. hard, fast, and dry. In yeah, the you ass. need a little bit of lube, Sorry. at least a little. You got really sexual there. Yeah, it did. Only mm. between you two guys. Maybe there's some sexual tension there. <laughs> I don't know. No, just between me and Fred Armisen, apparently. <laughs> That's fair. Muscuzi, Muscuzi. Yeah. He just needs me. He he wa- He just wants to rub me. He wants to rub everyone. Did you see that scene? <laughs> <laughs> so I did not watch much this week either. Apparently, we all kind of had off weeks. So I stayed well, with... Uh, Thanksgiving, too. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, it was pretty busy. <laughs> I thought I watched something else this week, but I can't for the life of me. You know, what I it feel was. I watched a movie, too. I just don't remember what it was. I think I did too. <laughs> I'm not, I don't remember. I need to start writing. It. I usually watch planes, trains, and automobiles like every year, like like a religion. That was one took this morning. I, didn't watch I usually it, watch it because of Thanksgiving. Like that's like you know a Thanksgiving movie for me. Like we should have reviewed just, uh, Dutch for. I cannot find it though. I wanted to. I had that on my list as something that we should have watched, but I can't find it anywhere. Really? I don't own it. I can't that's find it streaming. Good, that's such a funny. Fucking it is movie. a great movie, but like it's because you don't you don't get a lot of uh, what's his name Ed. Uh, what's his name? The main Ed guy. O'Neill. Ed O'Neill. You don't get a lot of right. And like, that's you, one you of just Ethan know Mary from Children and Modern Family. But he's done movies, man. Yeah, that's one of Ethan Embry's. I think that's Ethan Embry's first movie. Was it? Yeah, and I love that movie. But you cannot find it. You can't buy it. You can't. It's not streaming. So I was like, that's not an option because ain't nobody got it. I'm sure. Yeah, right. it was on cable today, and I didn't watch it though because it was already halfway through. Oh, I love planes, trains, and automobiles. <sighs> that shit's funny. Um, I just love John Candy. Oh yeah, John Candy is good. I don't give a fuck about Steve Martin. I just love John I Candy. Like Steve Martin too. Steve Martin's funny. Too. John Candy's one of them actors that I like. Whatever he died, I was just like, you know, I've heard I was, a, I was, was a kid. That was the first celebrity I legit yeah. was sad. Yeah, when I, I was a kid, movie. but I was like, God damn it! Like he was a good one. <laughs> like, I legit like. Ha- I mean, I like teared up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that was the first time I remember him. And then Chris Farley died. shortly Ooh. after another one that killed me. So, yeah. So I watched. A, I'm trying to finish up Law and Order. Still, I'm almost there. Law and Order's there. gonna take forever. No, I'm almost there. The, really? No, I've been watching it off and on for like years. So <laughs> like, I'm almost there. She's trying to, she's trying trying to, to I am almost, almost there. Almost there. I think I've got. I've like, been doing the same thing with Supernatural, dude. There's 15 seasons. Oh, of that I'm shit. done with that. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm good. Yeah, but I'm I didn't start rewatching. It, I didn't though. start it until <laughs> it ended, though. Oh, I love that show. I've been watching Burn Notice again. And then I watched Nope because I hadn't seen that yet. Did you like that? I liked it. It was good. I did I like that. It. I normally hate alien movies, but, but that, that was, was not weird. A, that yeah. was not an this alien movie weird. like yeah. like an alien movie. Right. That was that was an abnormal alien. This movie. has nothing to do with what we watched, but I have actually watched some videos. Have you heard about established titles? 
Mm. No. Mm -mm. Uh, established Tiles is a website you can go. You can buy a piece of land in Scotland oh, yeah, and yeah. legally change. Uh, oh yeah, 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 it's a scam. Oh, I'm sure it is. I'm no, sure, they yeah. found out that it's a. They actually found out that it's a scam. I'm sure it is. They. A I, guy, I, I, I saw that on television and thought it was a scam. A guy. Yeah, oh. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, sure. Well, now they're actually listing it as a gag gift and stuff. Now, after this guy put out a video saying that it was a scam, now they're listing okay. it as, oh, it's a gag gift. But the guy. Nobody's gonna buy it anymore. They. Nobody, I can't believe people bought it anyway. I know, like. Well, anyways, and so you're telling me I can go over there. And, well, how big were the plots of land? Yeah, like a, a foot, foot by a, a foot. square foot. Like so, it's like this big. Like so, I'm just I'm gonna, gonna go stand, stand on it. Like uh, this is my property. You know what I mean? Like what the <laughs> fuck are you gonna do? They planted a tree on. It. They said they pl were supposed to plant a tree on it. But listen, that's not. The, uh, but anyways, there were a whole bunch so you're of guys go sitting your tree. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or if, like if the tree grows over into another person's plot. Okay, I'm, yeah. I'm done talking Sorry, dude. about this. You guys <laughs> Sorry, are we're just even... trying to make a joke. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that it. I thought it was a good idea when I first heard about it. I didn't care so much about the landlord or lady thing, but I always liked things like, like you know, they plant a tree or something. I thought that was cool because Scotland's if, pretty. If they were really going to do it, sure, yes. that would have been cool. Well, they do. They say they do place go with a place that plants trees, but also souvenir. The, the guy was showing in the video, you can't buy souvenir land in Scotland and it changed your name. That's not how lords and ladies no, work. No, no. And then he also said they plant a tree, but you're not like... And yeah, so after he did this... So they really do plant a tree, though? They give money to a place that plants trees. Oh. But... Uh, but so they don't, um, they don't actually get a Yeah, but piece anyways, of okay. so it was them. It was uh, established titles, this kind of knife thing that I've heard the things that the people who did established titles also... Did this knife company, some other company, and the one of those bid channels? It's it's a website where you go. You've seen them, probably seen them on TV. Oh, I got this big screen TV for two fifty, for two dollars and fifty cents. And then it, what it is is because the only reason you got it for two fifty is because you pay for every bid that you make, right? Even if you don't win. Yeah. And it's basically all scams that this guy is running. I've never heard about that. Yeah, it's it's a it's all, website. It's just you pay for everything. But every bid that you make, like you can make up to like a like say you make. Well, a, I wouldn't do that anyway. That's yeah, it's a scam. Website. And the guy who owns all these companies moved the moved to China because the business practices there are shady everywhere in China. Oh yeah, of course. They don't have the restrictions like we have. But yeah, I just they need to restrict their fucking so baby making. If there's anybody who listens that who wants to buy established titles, just yeah, they're a scam. Just remember, it's a scam, which I could have told you that to begin with. I didn't believe that yeah. shit for a minute. Yeah, Make no. me a lord or lady. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that that's not how You're going to need works. more than a foot by foot fucking plot of land. I well, thought you so have to, too, but you I thought it was be, interesting. You have it to is, be I mean it is interesting, don't me wrong, but like like if they were actually gonna plant a tree for you, that's you do, cool. That's, that's what, what I was. I mean. That's what I was saying. Like if they were really gonna do that, but they're just throwing thing, money right? at a company that plants trees. Yeah, right? like I, so. I, I didn't care about the Lord and Lady thing as so far as I. Uh, it was cool that they were gonna plant a tree in Scotland, because I, I think Scotland's beautiful, and that's where I heard my found out my heritage comes from. Well, heard that my heritage comes from. That's a long story. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I just thought it was neat and it kind of. Made me mad that, but like, I heard it from the quartering guy. I he watched. I uh -huh. see scan, and he was apologizing because he didn't realize it was a scam. Oh, and, and he was were, he was he was. I think he yeah he oh. was he was he was actually. I remember watching some of his stuff, and he was he was uh he was sponsored by them. Yeah, yeah uh, they would send out ex uh, they would send out things. So, and he was uh, like, okay. I'm sorry, I didn't know that this company was. He always thought that it was. He always thought it was kind of a gag gift, but he didn't realize the depth that it went. That people didn't realize. Yeah. That. Okay. Well, if it's a gag gift, why is he trying to sell it off like it's not? Because I've seen him no. advertise it before, and he never acted like, yeah, you well, know. This well, is either way, though, I didn't watch his whole video. He he told who the guy who did the the real video was, so I decided to watch that guy. Oh. So I watched the real video on it. But, Got it. Okay. Yeah. But don't buy from established titles. Just don't buy anything now from they're Scotland. Stepping like crazy though. Don't buy anything from Scotland. Mm. I don't know if you want to go that far. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck the Scots. No. I don't know. I got family over there, man. I probably do. I don't know. We're all mutts over here. It don't matter. <laughs> We're all. We've all got a little bit of something in you. 
And if you don't, I'm sure somebody will put it in you for you. <laughs> you get some dirty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to talk about dirty. the movie. <laughs> we probably should. In the movie. Before Joseph keeps talking about dirty stuff. <laughs> in the movie we watched this week was Gangs of New York. I don't got any of the other information oh, about it. Oh, for fuck's sake. I, I, got, I got you. Hold on. Karen's got it. Um, 2002, two hours, 47 minutes, starring Leonardo DiCaprio as Amsterdam Valen. Cameron Diaz as Jenny Everdeen. Daniel Day-Lewis as Bill the Butcher Cutting. Directed by Martin Scorsese. Written by Jay Cox. Stephen Zalen and Kenneth Lonergan. Uh, the synopsis is it's 1863 Amsterdam Valen returns to the five points of America to seek vengeance against the psychotic gangland kingpin Bill the Butcher who murdered his father year, years earlier with an eager pickpocket by his side and a whole new army Valen fights his way to seek vengeance on the butcher and restore peace in the area and just so if you if you haven't watched the movie Bill the Butcher is called Bill the Butcher because he's an actual butcher I'm sure we would have talked about that. But. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it would have come up, maybe. But, <laughs> but still, we uh, just. Sure. Oh, just uh, but anyway, <laughs> you good? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. So we were punching microphones and shit. <laughs> but so what? Now we do is talk, we talk about now is if uh, we would I would watch the movie again, and I would suggest to watch it because it's a good period piece, and it's just it's a really good movie. So what would what would you do? Just be- uh, I would recommend it for sure. Um, it's a good movie. It's fucking long. Um, I think they could trim a little. I could they could shave some time off of this movie for sure. They could have, but because um, it it's like crazy. a full like two hours and forty seven minutes or something, and that is just. They could sh- they there, could easily shave probably fifteen there, to twenty minutes. There's off a this lot movie. of time easily. They spend a lot of time getting <laughs> Amsterdam on the Bill's side. They spend yeah. a lot. They do. Of time. I understand a lot of yeah. the slower paced moments of the movie, and I get it. But there are still some things that they could shave off. Yeah, you know, from this movie. And I make, was looking to see easily if I wrote just it make down. it like a, a two two hour and twenty minute movie. I was looking to see if I wrote it down, but the original uh, original cut was um, an hour and a half longer. Oh really? Yeah. Oh my god! I would have watched that. Oh. I don't think I, I, I don't. Think I, I, I don't have it in me. I don't have it in me, man. I, I like. I know. I was dreading sitting down to watch this last night because I knew how long it was. Okay, well then, see, that's the way I feel about a lot of movies we watch. And Hold on, I was only dreading it because of how long it was, not no, because was, of the movie. The, the reason I dread it is because I don't like deadlines, and I don't be like, I, I really don't be like told to watch this. It's kind of the yeah. thing we got going on <laughs> here. That's why yeah, when you said wait, we're wait, gonna be doing a thing on movies, I was um, like, Ugh. to be fair, <laughs> to be fair, you were asked, not made. Yeah, yeah. To, to do this, Matt. Yeah. Matt, we would be sad to see you go, but if you quit the podcast, we're like, well, we understand it. If you don't want to do it, no, yeah. no, 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 no. It's not so much the movies as I can watch the movies. It's just I, I found out with a lot of things, I don't like deadlines. Mm-hmm. Well, That's if you don't have thing. one, though, then it, it never gets done. Man, I, <laughs> kind of I don't know. Hold on now. Hold on. That's how kind do, of the thing. How do you get your bills paid every month? Oh, good. Those good are good deadlines, question. but <laughs> every doesn't month. Mean I like them. <laughs> doesn't, it, it actually, doesn't mean I like it. With, the, with those things, it's actually became habit. I can it see him writing uh, out a check for like his electric bill. I don't want to do it. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Uh, you have to. I have to call in for my electric bill. No. No, 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 no. They tell him over the phone. I, I don't want to pay you, but God damn it, I will. No, Only because I got you. Oh wait, and now it's a uh, spectrum. spectrum. F you spectrum. No, with bills, it, now it's become more of just habit. Like yeah, uh, it's just something you know. Like you even if know. I don't have to pay it, I'll pay it because. So this is habit. Now we've been doing it for a while. No, not this is me, fifteen. No. This is fifteen it's episodes. Still, there's oh, just this was sixteen. If you count the bonus, right? It's 16 if you count the bonus here. Because, okay. yeah, there are just times sometimes where it's like, I don't want to watch this. I don't want to watch a movie right now. Right. And it's just like sometimes I wish it was like, oh, I, I wish it was at the end of the week, not, you know, at Wednesday. Yeah, that's just how I felt last night with this movie. It was, like, <laughs> God, it was so long. And I didn't get – and with, I got kids, so I can't watch the movie until they're pretty much settling down. So a three-hour movie is like cutting into like almost yeah, midnight for this me. This is also longest movie I think we've ever had. It is. Um, but anyway, yeah, I would recommend the movie, and um, I, it would be a while before I watched it again, because I had seen this movie once before, and I watched it this time, 
and it would have to be a good some a good amount of time before I watch it again because not because I hate the movie but just because of its length. You know, that's like going back and like, ah, I think I'd like to watch the Titanic again. No, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. You know. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> what about you, Karen? I would recommend the movie. I probably won't watch it again. Not not because it was bad. I like the movie. I it's just long and it's not really like my forte, I guess. Yeah, I like period pieces. And I usually just watch them once, though. Like, I watch it once, I got the gist, I like the movie, I'm over it, I'm done. So, so I'm the only one that liked the movie and would watch it again? I'm not saying I wouldn't watch it again. I'd watch it again just for Daniel Day-Lewis. Well, you just said that you wouldn't watch it again. I you said not a right not, away. Not a right away, oh, no. okay. Well, yeah, this is I'd a, watch it again, I'd watch not it anytime again. soon. I own oh. it. I do, too. I, I just, I mean, three hours, man. And... <laughs> Whew. I thought I'm the one who would have been like, oh, it's three hours. Because usually I'm... Uh, not whenever it's what you like, man. Like, uh, you yeah, and movie. it's not that I hate these kind of movies. I like them. I just... I watch them once. Dude, I'm, I watched The Batman once. and with Robert Pattinson. Yeah. And I fucking... I loved every minute of that movie. Yeah. I could watch that movie over and over again. Yeah. But that is by far... That's the, that's my That's forte. my favorite. That's my, my, that's yeah, my thing. But that's also my favorite Batman movie. I, I, good one. I, I fucking can, love that movie. I, I can say probably with new with the gangs of New York, I do like the time period that it's set in. Sure, and yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I like period pieces, and I I loved, I really did love this the the um the sets. I mean, like they did a great job with the sets. The oh, the, they look the fantastic. Wardrobes. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I mean, even all the of city, that is, is the amazing. sets, everything looks lived in. Yeah, it's uh, beautiful. Gr- grungy, you know, yeah. it looks it looks awesome. And I even wrote that down. About how they made it look very authentic. And, and, you know, the other thing I was blown away by was all of the different accents. Like, because it was very, um, you know, like, not all of the, the, the Irish people sounded completely Irish. Yeah, right? because like, they even mentioned that, though, too. Right, right. Like, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like, all of the different dialects were, yeah, cause were even, very, very good. And everybody that did it was very good. And that was one thing that, like, because I even wrote this down, too, because about... Almost through the movie, all the way through the movie, Cameron Diaz, like, everybody's like, oh, well, Cameron Diaz, man, her accent, blah, blah, blah. Dude, she, this is one movie I will say, she didn't get on my nerves. Like, oh, I was surprised she was not getting, she did not kill the movie for me at all. I thought she did a fine job. The only thing that I noticed, okay, like, everybody said that she takes you out of the movie, right? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get that. But I didn't either. The one thing I will say, the only thing that I noticed is and this was one thing that did kind of bother me and it did kind of pull me out a little bit was that it seemed like she couldn't hold the accent like she would start out and strong that's, uh, yeah but you got to also understand trail off. one thing that I kind of took from that was she even said that uh Billy had taken her in as a child Sure. and Billy has a very very American sure. accent sure so i could only imagine that she probably grew up mm-hmm. you know with mm-hmm. that accent, because I know over time you can pick up accents. Sure. sure, and like I said, that that's the only thing. But you know, the only thing I would say about that is it just seemed like a strange way. If she grew up there, it would be. It would be thicker. It would be, it would be thicker American than it would Irish. Yeah, she starts out so because so so Irish at the front, and then just American. As at it kind of trickles out. Yeah, yeah. It, that's the only thing that bothered I, me. I don't. I see. I it kind of did for me a little bit too, but I think that a lot of it was like she didn't have as much dialogue towards the end as it, it was like certain whimpers and things like that. Sure, and or it wasn't one enough. Words. It wasn't enough to throw me. It wasn't enough for me to go. Yeah. She's terrible. She shouldn't have that's, got the part. Yeah, that's the thing. She's, you know, it, I one hundred percent agree. Like, yeah. I don't think that it was near there, that bad. The, you know, she's done not. far worse in other movies. I will say, I don't think she. I don't think she's she, okay. Cameron Diaz, she's pretty. Eh. I don't think she makes a good redhead. Jeremiah hated her. Like, <laughs> he, he's like, because I kept saying like I thought she was pretty, you know, and he's like her mouth is too big. And her mouth is big, <laughs> yeah, and like, you're right. Oh, she does God. not make. A, have, she does not make a good I redhead. I feel like Jeremiah's got very pre- like. Particular standards. Yeah, yeah particular <laughs> well, I mean, like, I'm not... <laughs> well, no, just, I mean, I'm not, like, you know, a model or anything, so... Well, I'm not saying that. It's just, like... He's got, uh, he's got standards. Stuff, he don't like uh, ugly redheads. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, but, that's basically yeah, it, yeah. I, 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 I don't have a problem with Cameron Diaz. I never really have. But, yeah, I just don't think she's... Her complexion isn't right for red, red hair. 
I don't like, and Jeremiah's right, I don't like her big fucking mouth. Yeah, her mouth's I've really never big. liked her mouth. She's always had this giant mouth. Yeah. Like she's going to eat your face. Yeah, yeah. I bet, <laughs> I'll bet you'll sit here and you'll go, oh, uh, Angelina Jolie's pretty. No, she's not. Okay, thank God. She, she used to be. Never, she was she's not. never pretty. Yeah, she was. She looked like she got kicked she in the was. face by a horse. That's some big old lips, yeah. And not not a pretty horse. It was an ugly horse as well. <laughs> it was an ugly <laughs> My wow. God. <laughs> Jesus. Tell me. I mean, tell us how you really horse, It was probably and, a mule. And Jeremiah is the one that's particular. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he, I, also, he also thinks that Drew Barrymore is attractive. I think Drew Barrymore is attractive. I don't. I don't ah, think. See? No, she, yeah. I will say, she... Attractiveness, I, though, is like music. Oh. Well, everybody, everybody's got everybody, their taste. Everybody yeah. has their taste. Yes, but also, see, also... I think Drew Barrymore was prettier when she was. She, now she's getting old. She's not as pretty as she used to be. I will Nobody say. is. My well, God. No, I'm <laughs> well, look at like Charlie's Angels, right? So Charlie's Angels back in the seventies, they were hot. They were bombshells, you know. And then they cast Cameron Diaz, Drew Barrymore, and Lucy Liu. But Lucy Liu, dude. No. No. See, fuck you guys. No. Yeah, Lucy Liu, man. No. Yeah. I'm no. taking that one. Oh, no, you can have her. Well, you can have your Cameron Diaz's and your Drew no, Barrymore's. No, I want Drew Barrymore. Uh, Thank you And I'll, I'll take I'll Lucy, take the Lucy Lou. Lucy Lou is pretty. You yeah, can see? have her. You guys can have her. <laughs> no, 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 I get Lucy you. Lou. You get uh, Drew, Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. You can have Cameron Diaz. Yeah. Well, now that we've established you didn't, that, you didn't, <laughs> yeah, you didn't speak up, dude. You get, you get, <laughs> you get you know, what's left. You get, you get the leftovers, man. Cameron Diaz. Well, it's okay. She's still rich. <laughs> well, at, least she, at least she's not a redhead in Charlie's Angels. Yeah. See, she's blonde. Yeah. So the complexion thing won't bother. But I get you. Lucy Liu. That's fine. That reminds me of uh, uh, Futurama Bender. No, it's uh, there's an episode of Futurama where they do clones, robot clones, and. Uh, Fry gets a, cl- a robot of Lucy Lou <laughs> <laughs> and falls in love with her, but Bender, but the real Lucy Lou falls in love with Bender. Makes like sense. Like her real head in a jar. Yeah. Falls in love with like in later episodes you see her carrying his head her, her head around. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, just or you know I'm gonna put this out there. I'll give you the choice. Yeah, Cameron Diaz or Bill Murray. You know I'm going to go with Cameron Diaz. Okay. Well, or you can go with... No way, are you talking about, like, dating or, like... Just whatever you want. However you want it, bud. I'm still going to have to go with Cameron Diaz. Or you can go with the second movie and go with, uh... Who, who was in the second movie? Um, Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac, yeah. Yeah, yeah no? you're always, you're always going to pick Cameron Diaz. Well, he's dead anyway, yet, so... I was thinking of the corpse problem. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he might not be all that warm. But, okay. <laughs> I have to. I have to ask though. Like, did, what was the cheek cutting about? I never under. I never got. Well, why did they cut their cheeks? They all had scars, and they all cut their cheeks. What was that about? I didn't understand it either. But I feel it ha- like I didn't say anything because I feel it had something to do with it. It had. It had some kind of significance, and I forgot to look it up. So but I thought I'd see, ask I'm you not, guys. Like, see, because my thing is, I I don't know that stuff because I was not Irish in that time. So all I right, I'm looking it up the then fuck? because I just of forgot course, about it. It could be an Irish thing. <laughs> you were not Irish in that time. <laughs> I wasn't. You're an Irish. He wasn't the 1800s. Irish then. I wasn't. You know what I mean, Joseph? Come on. I wasn't alive in the 1800s. No, you weren't. Your great 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 grandmother, or your great 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 grandmother, was just a stain on your daddy's sheets, bud. I'm looking it up. <laughs> Matt's like get fucked. <laughs> But also, did anybody else kind of find, find it kind of funny that all the Irish people lived in an old brewery? <laughs> no, it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I thought it was kind of... Uh, I was kind of made like, sense. Ah. The fact that the old brewery was called the old brewery. Yeah. They kept it very simple. <laughs> yeah. you know? I typed in cheat cutting, gangs of New York, and I get bill cutting. No, that's not what I'm asking. But thanks. <laughs> All right, so since we don't have an answer to that, um, uh, also when when they came outside of the brewery, it looked like a lot more people on the inside that were like with them. Yeah, well, they started out like with just a little crowd, and then like where did those other people come from? After he said something, he said something, and then more people like oh, showed those up. Oh, other gangs that decided to fight alongside them. Oh, yeah, remember where they did, okay. they announced themselves. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's right. You're right. Yeah, those were other gangs that decided to fight alongside them. Why did he take his kid into battle? 
asking for a friend. He set him off to the side, but I, I think that I think these battles are meant to be contained. So yeah. they go into battle, and yeah, whoever dies dies. But like, I think that in that. Right in that aspect, nobody was to touch the child. No, you don't hurt the kids. Yeah, because right, he was you, the only kid out there. Why would why wouldn't he leave him in there with the other kids? I don't know. He, I think that but if you realize the kids were all watching the fight, and also I think that he was he's he was what? a leader, so he had to lead by a certain example. And I could see him being like, "Listen, son, this could be you one day. So yeah. you yeah. need also predisposed, you know, exposure, the, things like that." I guess. What he was I mean, he's yeah. saying, "Don't look away." Right. And oh, then, that's true, yeah. yeah. So. And then also, I, I, I do think it's funny that there are no cops that tried to stop the gang fight in the middle of the town. Why would they? No. They no, would get because hurt. Because it's, that's, again, not the point. I know. But, you know, you have to put, like, a real-life situation in these in these movies. Yeah, okay, that's for the movie. But in real life, I'm sorry, I think there would be some cops that'd be not like, hey, then. let's not do. Not back then. Back then, they were like, no, nah, I'm not dying. But then again, how do you know that? Uh, there's a lot of uh, historical stuff about the the five points. In actually, yeah, I did see a lot. Uh, there, I did see a thing because I watched some of the. Thing yeah, the like it's, it's it's very it's, it's, very accurate. But still, it's it, it, it's just it's just funny that there are no cops there. I did. You don't even see cops. Well, a lot of the cops are already paid off. Yeah, and the ones that aren't paid off are too scared. I did mention that. Uh, so this movie was so long, and there's so much going on within the movie that it's another one of those movies that would just have been a better series like like even if it was just a short series like a um I, s- I could see where it could be a movie that could spawn a series and isn't it supposed no, to No, I mean just like a series, a series in general. Eh, I don't know. I think it works great as a movie. I mean it sucks that it's so long, I think but they I think cr- it, I think, I think they it just does fine as a movie. I think they just cram too much in there that I don't feel With, was really necessary. I think it's long enough that they fleshed everything out enough. You well, what, what I'm mean? saying is like, yeah, but it's also hard to follow all that. There was a lot going on within the context. Like, there's, uh, you got the gangs, you got the different gangs. That that in itself, just the gangs themselves could be, make their own series. Yeah, they are making so, a series though, so they can flush that stuff out a little. So bit, yeah. also though, you had the political side, the cops, you know, the fucking thing I didn't understand uh, about- all that stuff. The the Irish coming off the boats, the immigration issues, all no. that stuff. I'm I sure mean, they're going to flush all that stuff movie. out. A lot because they are going to make a series. I did. I did read you know, about that. Uh, you know, one thing I kind of wonder about is with the with the guy. Who, what was he like? The mayor? I don't know what he. He's not the mayor. Yeah, I didn't quite understand that. He was some kind of. He was some kind of some kind of politician. Okay, but yeah. what, what's with all the birds? Uh, I don't. know. Why so many birds? I don't know. I bet that like, room stank. Why oh, is your yeah. whole office just full of different breeds of birds? <laughs> Maybe he liked birds. I mean, you know, some people like cats, some people like dogs. Some yeah, like, but th- know, at a but certain point, you're going to be like, well, you know. It is getting kind of loud know, in here. Birds. Well, and who, who cleans all those cages? Because I'm telling Not you, him. Know, birds are stinky if you don't clean those cages. And I'm probably telling you, you got to clean them that, a lot. Probably that little guy that followed him around. I don't know. My grandpa, used, grandma and grandpa used to raise pigeons. So they, and I mean, it, it was it was a, it was definitely a hobby for them. You know the uh, the fire department part where they got there and they fought. Yeah, I read that was true. Yeah, that fire departments would actually do that. Fight over a fight burning fire. Over a fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That is all historical. Like, yeah. The, a lot of the historical stuff was real. I can believe I that. that. I believe was, that I a lot that, of this I is probably accurate. I thought that was accurate. cool. How I read, I watched that. He and was. It said a lot of I it mean, was real. It's Martin Scorsese. He's pretty particular. Yeah, he's, he's very not, particular. He doesn't let a lot of things go. Um, I had to kind of laugh though because like Bill the Butcher, like, I mean obviously it's gonna be accurate and everything, but like, I was totally thrown off by his accent because I'm like, he's, so it's is very this, American. Is this, is, this, is, this, is this the first Brooklyn accent? Like, yeah, it's he, very did American. He, did he originate the Brooks, yeah. Brooklyn accent? Because that's yeah. exactly what he sounds like. Yeah. He sounds like a mobster. And, and for but for but Daniel like a Day modern Lewis, day mobster. See, I see the thing about Daniel Day Lewis is he. He 100 percent well takes on the character that he oh portrays. yeah yeah absolutely right down to their voice. I watched a From video what on I him. Heard, he came back like I guess he retired and came back to do this movie. Well, he did a few others and then after he, this. He became, he's, yeah, he, he's he, done that a few times. He says yeah, he's retired. That's and what he I'm saying. Back it, and he, it was one of the ones where he's oh I'm done and then he came back and then he, I don't yeah, think he, he even got it. as big as he did until after he did this movie. Oh like, yeah, like he was a, he was still a good actor, yeah. but. 
Like one thing that he I did watched Lincoln the, after this movie. It was he like, also did. Uh, he did There Will Be Blood first before Lincoln. I know. I'm just saying. Like he did Lincoln yeah. after this movie. It was funny because that was one of the things. Like you saw him throw that knife into Lincoln's forehead. I'm like, dude, you play him. I know. I thought the <laughs> same thing. <laughs> so, but he he's one of them actors that like I watched a video on him and they're like, that he changes everything about himself right down to the tone of his voice, his mm-hmm. breathing. He's what they call it a method actor. Very, very <laughs> method. You know, I heard that they said that uh, that guy who played um, Dahmer. Uh, oh, um, Evan, Peters. Show. Evan Peters. Yeah, <laughs> he's a method actor too. I seen yeah. a thing where they said he, uh, like, basically to do that role, he like played out like being Jeffrey Dahmer mm-hmm. for a while, and the thing said how. <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah, how right. did he do that? Like, well, <laughs> kind of... He had to have a, uh, what do they call them, um, a psych. Um, Evaluation? No, no, like a psych person on scene with him at all times to make sure he isn't he doesn't lose himself. Yeah. So, like, so he wasn't losing a shit. So they constantly was, like, trying to remind him, think of, you know what I mean? So to yeah, try to keep I, him I from diving too deep into like, it. They, like, he took, he took on Jeffrey Dahmer completely because he's a method actor, and that's yeah. what they did. And, and I see. I saw, was like, how? Yeah, I saw, the, I saw the same thing, like, where they there was this, it was an article, and then, like, you know, there was a comment section, and somebody was like, uh, how? <laughs> like, <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, but anyway, so the, the scene where you see the immigrants uh, getting off the boat, and then they're pushing them like, oh, go fight for your country. And, yeah. the next and then it yeah. shows that progression just it fucking, it was too, it was way too surreal. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. it had him getting off the boat. Like, oh, then they were pushing him. In the, you want to fight for your, you want to vote and fight for your country? You got to go, you know, join the army. Push them into these uniforms. Push them into their this and that. Uh, yeah. Putting guns in their hands and then right back on another boat. I put I, I put that on here. Fight yeah. for fight for the country. You just got to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's crazy. And then there and then it even sh- well, segues to them carrying uh, the, 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 corpses uh, and coffins corpses, off yeah. of that same boat yep. that they were getting piling also, onto. And I thought that it was very um, interesting how well that they played out. And it was so almost you didn't catch it about how you can buy your way out of the draft, right? The, you they almost they just say it no so nonchalantly yeah. you almost don't even think about it and that's what actually started the riots was that you the, could the buy your way people. out but, you had to but only rich. the rich people could do it because three hundred dollars back then was even, a lot of money it's like six thousand dollars today's yeah. money he even says that it's like who's got three hundred dollars right but they almost play it so off so uh, nonchalantly yeah. and it ends up becoming a huge yeah. arc mm-hmm. to the movie and also uh it's so funny because like seeing that scene of them going from getting off the boat getting onto the boat and then it just it reminded me of like cattle just and, and yeah, going to a grinder absolutely. into a into a, a meat grinder mm-hmm. and then coming out as is yeah, and the, your and process the sad thing about those and what's guys it all good for you know what i mean mm-hmm. essentially these yeah. guys are coming off of a boat to get away from the famine because it was during the potato famine right mm-hmm. so they're starving they're getting here and they're going into a battle and they don't even know what the what they're fighting for Right. Because they haven't been told what they're fighting for. They haven't been here long enough to know what yeah. the, the also, conflict is. Before that, there was a box. Is 75 rounds a lot? For them depends back on, then, probably. Yeah, like a lot the of them, I believe they were all musket loaders back yeah, then. Yeah, musket loader, I would say yes, because you would have yeah. to, you have to no, manually talking, load that. No, remember there's a boxing scene. Do you guys remember yeah, the boxing, the boxing scene? scene? Yeah, the boxing scene, yeah. Yeah, and he says... That at the end, when he goes, he goes, uh, winner by a knockout, 75 r- at se- round oh, 75. Oh, 75. Oh, Jesus. That oh, a, yeah, that's holy. a lot of rounds. That is a yeah. lot of rounds. Yeah, that is a lot of rounds. <laughs> Sorry, you said 75 rounds. My mind went to bullets. I was like, yeah, uh, bullets, yeah. Yeah, no, because, uh, yeah, it was kind of a, yeah, just change the thing. But I just went, rounds. 75 rounds. Jesus, I would be rounds. on the ground. That's what I was saying. I, I remember them I saying like that. I'm like, oh, my goes God. Like 10 rounds, and then you're done. Like, uh, 75? Like, I don't think it's 10. Maybe it is because I think. I'm wondering if it's 15. Is it, maybe it is. I think I don't it's know. 15 I don't, or something. I don't, I don't remember, boxing, but I know so 75 is an 75, outrageous 75, I'd be down on the ground just yeah, breathing heavy. There's I would, no yeah. way somebody's lasting. I can't that long. swing anymore. Yeah, I'm like, done. Like all the blood after they said 75 rounds, like all the blood made sense. 
You've been beating each other. <laughs> I mean, for my God. Long? At some point, somebody just call it. Like, as you know, after, like, round 15, they're just like this. Like, there's no... And, and, the, and the funny thing about not the guys... Not to mention, you think that the crowd would just be bored. I mean, my God. Like, and then at the end, they're not even, like, muscular dudes. Yeah. Well, I was, like, very much overweight. But... Like, at the end, were they just poking each other? Like, yeah. There's just... The one guy looks like he's one bacon strip away from a heart attack so <laughs> oh my god <laughs> also in the opium den the tree coming down on the bar was cool i liked that remember when they were in the little thing and then he goes oh, to the bar yeah, the yeah, tree yeah. coming down mm-hmm. the tree roots coming down on the bar yeah i oh. thought that was cool it I is neat i i did like um how all the sets certainly looked like um they were sort of like you know coming apart but in you know the fact that they lived underground too. Yeah, I mean, like, I've I've always liked the idea of living underground in a cave type mm-hmm. thing. But also, um, for Bill being racist, he was pretty. He pretty much he really liked opium dens in Asian theater. Well, <laughs> that's kind of like what racists are. They're so hypocritical. As you say, a lot like of racists racist aren't as racist as you think they are. Well, they mm. are, but they're hypocritical. Yeah, the like problem. they'll like you're talking about a dude who'll say the n word all day, but then he's like, man. Rihanna's hot though. Right, like, right, what? right. What, dude? That, like, that's today, but like, yeah, back. But, it, but, but, but that's to, but that's today's equivalent to what his, you're saying. Yeah, but I'm wondering if his racism was more just towards black people. Um, his racism, I think, was anybody who wasn't American. Yeah, anybody he considered not to be American. That's what it was too. He wasn't racist against blacks or anything. Yeah, he, he didn't just, get. He, he didn't hated get everybody who wasn't. He if hated you anything. Born in America, yeah. He didn't give a shit. He didn't. He did He hated everybody who wasn't, uh, as they are called, uh, nationalists or national. You know, native. Native. Yeah, natives, native. That's what they go. And he even explains why, what a native is to him. A native yeah. is somebody who uh, believes and fights for their country and is and, willing to, and die, is willing for to die for it. Yeah, he's calling all those Irish that come off the boats. Yeah, he was calling. Yeah, uh, I don't know what they were. He was calling them, but he was calling. He was calling them. Uh, I forget what the Irish. There's a uh, he was calling them the name that there's a, a racial slang for Irish. He's potato calling potato eaters. Yeah, potato that, eaters. That he was calling them all the n word too. So well, I don't know. That, that's, like, that's I think he was thing. confused as a, I don't. I don't <laughs> think that his definition was very fitting though, because like Matt said, I mean these people were going off and fighting for the country and dying for it, and he, he wasn't giving them any respect either. And he could also the the age he was, he could have went and fought in the army. He was only forty five. Yeah, he was he was just a hypocrite. Forty seven. Uh, was he four seven? Yeah. Oh, I thought he was four. He, he's he's yeah. just a hypocrite. Yeah, also, he's a hypocrite. He's a gangster. All, all dude. Like, racists yeah. are hypocrites. But um, yeah. But uh, also I can understand that. Uh, I think Asian women are pretty. I don't know what it is about Asian women. There's something that just also I, I just think they're pretty. But um, also okay. the only time a man <laughs> some are I'm, I'm not the gonna say all time, are. Well, I also like the like the Asian culture. I think it's neat. Oh, I think sure. I think the Japanese culture is extremely especially yeah. old. The older Japanese culture is uh, very interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, also, the, and I love the, I love the whole aesthetic and, and everything about sure. it. So. The, the whole family bond that they got is to is that they take care of their older generations and they respect their older generations. I really generation like after too. generation. I wish yeah. Americans still saw it that way. But um, also the only time a man bond is okay is if you're going into battle. Hmm. Because <laughs> are you, are you, I was waiting for you to say fight me because <laughs> you like you like cross your arms like no. that's the only time a man bun is okay fight me well, that's, <laughs> because you know he they show that part where he's got that leather wrapped yeah. in the only time a man bun is okay is when you're going to battle <laughs> well, I Jason Momoa then I think you can probably yeah, well, get away with it any time yeah, but it's I like agree. when somebody said uh, uh, well with Jason Momoa it's like the thing that they say about um you know Hulk Hogan. Fanny packs look dumb. You're not going to tell Hulk Hogan that. <laughs> <laughs> you had a point. That, that's also very fair. Uh, yeah, I'm not, not, man, not but telling Hulk Hogan tell that. Jason Momoa. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you told Jason Momoa that you didn't like his man bun, he'd be like, "That's cool, man." Yeah, like, I don't think he would really care. Not care. I don't, I don't think, think he would give a shit. <laughs> like that's cool, man. Like. <laughs> I don't think balding guys are very cool either. <laughs> you know, like, like, so. Hey, you know what I got to say about that is I was watching a thing. Um, I was watching them do a thing for Hitman. The yeah, game, yeah, yeah. And the guy hung a picture on his wall for it says fortune favors the bald. And it made me remember my favorite 
thing that I've ever heard about bald is God made so many perfect heads that the rest he covered with hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you know, I'm always coming kinda... from a bald guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always kind of blown away when I see John C. Riley in a serious role. And it always catches me off guard how oh, the good guy who he played is. The sheriff. Yeah, because at the very beginning of the movie, I was like, "That's John C. Riley. Like, he's got to have a comedic role, right?" You and I'm like, as they go on, I'm like, no. "I can only. He's not. He's have not comedic at all." Have you ever seen? Um, we have to talk about Kevin. No. No. That was, I think, the first serious role I ever saw him in. You know, the funny oh thing. Oh my is, god! When like, I picked that, I remembered he's in that movie, and I wondered who was going to be the first one who said something. Well, I, it, I've seen him in serious roles before, but every time I see him, I'm always kind of taken aback at how good he is. I don't like he can be a very good actor. Yeah. I don't like yeah. his comedic roles. I don't think he's funny. Oh, I think he's hilarious. Oh, I do, too. I, I think, think he's, he's hilarious. hilarious. Every time I've seen him... But I also know that he can be a like good Wolfram. actor, too. Step Brothers is fucking hilarious. Dude, that <laughs> fucking movie's epic as shit. That movie was dumb. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I'm picking for Christmas. That's going to be my Christmas present to me. Uh, that, that, that's... <laughs> My Christmas present is going to be not watching it. <laughs> Managed to stay here the whole, through the whole podcast. I don't know. I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. <laughs> Jed tried to get me to watch That Step movie Brothers, is funny like as five shit. five seconds in, and I was like, no, this is retarded. Oh. So um, I thought the pacing was a little poor in this movie. I thought that it was like... So it, w- it would race through a certain scenario, of, or like a certain yeah, part then- of the movie, and then it would just slow the fuck down. Yeah, and then it would like speed back up or just run through some important plot point real fast and then slow back down and I'm just like why couldn't we just stick with that and then cut this out or so, you know what I mean like and this yeah. is what I said I think that they should have shaved some of the easily, pacing felt off yeah so they could have shaved some time off this movie especially towards the end like the end it really just started to drag because like yeah the part pretty much after uh, Amsterdam Leo he is found out by Bill the Butcher that he's, you know, trying to kill him or whatever. And so I understand that slow pacing point right there with him, you know, recouping and building it up. It up. Yep. But then it gets, like, ridiculous. Like, they keep dragging it out and dragging it out for, like, a good, almost an hour mm-hmm. of the movie is that. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, they could have shaved some of this. Like, yeah. some of this stuff is just not necessary. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a lot, see, like especially after he's a, he becomes an established gang himself. Yeah. The Dead Rabbits. Yeah. They they they, the they essentially just keep going and building that up, and then like they make the one guy a sheriff. He gets voted in a sheriff, and then instantly kill him off, which I thought was fucking stupid. Yeah. I was like, what a waste of time that was. Yeah. Like what a complete waste I think of time. It's it's more think played it, for um, a plot point. That you know, point, I understand that, uh, but yeah. that point, make it more of a center point then. Sure. I think that point was done more to show you like that Bill the Butcher just did not care. I understand yeah. that, but yeah. <laughs> but bring that home or make it more because that dude was an important important person of the movie. He was, and they made they made his death like it was just nothing. You know what I mean? Like, it was nothing. Like oh he gets fucking an a, or a yeah, fucking like, butcher knife. I, I or, guess I understand uh, what you're saying is like they they took certain parts and they they fleshed all of these parts out that didn't quite need to be fleshed out and then other parts that you got felt the needed needed to yeah. be fleshed out a little bit more maybe needed you know like yeah. that like that yeah. should have been fleshed out exactly like they were like like and I I f- also find it hard to believe that he was just gung ho about being sheriff. After being silent and keeping to himself for 16 years. No, because he said something to Bill the Butcher. What? He said something to Bill the Butcher because the one time when the sheriff hangs his watch on there and he says nobody will take it, he says to Bill the Butcher, he says, uh, you think if I hung my watch up there, somebody would take it? And then he says, maybe one day. That's right there. It kills me. He wants to be something more. and He wants, he wants to do more. Yeah, yeah he's, I think the reason he sat silent for so long was because there was no... Um, no one to back him. No one yeah. to back him. There was no. There was no. I there wasn't that. enough change happening, and no, right. not enough people behind him. Right. And if there was, you know, if there was going to be a rally of people behind him, then yeah, he's willing to stand up. But you know, I if just hate it because he, against, he could have been you know, more of that. Like he could have been so much more of a. Uh, uh, how do I put uh, a. Uh, you wanted him to like be a more father of a central, figure. yeah, yeah, like yeah. a central father figure to well, Amsterdam because that's what he should have been because he he held no loyalties to any gang to yeah, begin he with. He was a mercenary. He was more of a mercenary. He, I think, it was more of survival for him yeah. in that in that area. Yeah. And so for him, after sixteen years, like 
he could have been that like you know mentor in the shadows for Amsterdam to kind of show him a little bit more sure. and and be there more for him sure. instead of just killing him off like he was a fucking side character like he didn't mean nothing right you know what I mean whenever really they they could have made him seem like they could have made him to mean a lot more to Amsterdam and the fucking overall story right kind of like you know. Obi Wan and Luke, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. Shit like that. I, I agree with you, and I think what they could have, what they could have taken and shortened quite a bit is like what Matt said. They could have shortened the amount of time that Amsterdam spent with Bill. Yeah, because they did the they, they that was a that big out part. So much. I and then and then for them just to like throw it away so quickly. Right. Like that whole scene with him and the knife. They built, did not build that tension up hardly no, at all. No. And that really just killed that scene. I'm like, they could have done this so much, but don't get me wrong. The part where he gets him on the fucking table, that was pretty like gut wrenching a little bit. But like, I have, I have a, I have a. Uh, kind of a, a problem with all of that though because he built that up so much you know to say like oh yeah i'm gonna let him live but i'm gonna scar him and he's gonna be shamed and he's gonna be this and he's gonna be that you literally left him with like this yeah a little like burn just on this his face. little burn on his face what's to shame him about that what's yeah. to scar i did not feel like that was yeah it wasn't it wasn't enough like if you really want to bill the fucking butcher you just fucking killed a sheriff in front of you know an entire <sighs> town that was one thing that you've done you've done all these horrible things you killed his father in front of his entire gang you basically you know made it so that nobody could say that gang but this name kid he just gets a, little, these 30 days. gets a little burn on his face after all he's done yeah and then you, you're gonna make it you're, i'm gonna scar him like well, scar I, to me i think like, i think shame. some of that though is also payback for saving his life yeah i think the reason also so, i mean i could sure. see that probably as wasn't being better, but, he did kind of I mean, but they, sure. they didn't make that apparent but, though either okay yeah. sure i no. i mean i'm even taking that into consideration his scar is this like this little small place on his face i can't believe that even though he saved his life like why isn't it like his whole cheeks or like you know what i mean something that's gonna stand out cut out his eye yeah cut something, out his yeah. eye something that's gonna stand out and make make it known he you know screwed over bill the butcher you know everybody can look at him and go oh that's the dude that's the guy I, I'm gonna look at the like, one. You know, I'm gonna carve something. Over yeah, something. Or something. I like mean, that. you yeah, can't, and, you yeah, can't the, just put like a little dot on the dude's face, and everybody's gonna be like, "Is that the guy?" I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not I, sure. I can't quite. And so tell. he healed up quite well. Yeah, I can't quite tell. I'm not sure. Well, also the way it, he, it healed it. That was look probably like a bird. my biggest problem with the movie was like, you know, they they built this up so much. They got him on that table, and I'm like, oh shit. It seems to, it kind of felt about like to get fucked up. It kind of felt like that whole tension building thing with him and Bill, like them. You know him going under Bill's wing, this and that. It seemed like that was like the main focal point, and then after that, they just kind of like the they writing didn't know what team, to do. and they didn't know really. Yeah, they didn't know what exactly where to go with it from mm-hmm. there. Like they didn't. It seemed like they didn't want to follow old tropes. They wanted to do something different, sure. but at the same time, their execution was poor because they didn't really. After after that, it just didn't really go anywhere. Not it didn't anywhere. Feel like the same movie. It anymore. didn't feel like the same movie. It kind of went. It, like, some parts of it after that were rushed. Other parts were way too fucking drug out. And then, like, and it, it just kind of felt like it was just... Because everything up until that point was great. It, yeah, was, a good, uh, it was a good movie. It was sure. good. It was building up well and all that stuff. Like, you didn't know... It almost got to the point where you didn't know where uh, Leo's character stood. Yeah, I, I did have that moment, too, where I was like, is he still planning Could he to turn? kill this guy? Yeah. yeah, does he want to turn code? Yeah, is he still planning yeah. to kill this guy or what? Yeah. Uh, does anybody else think that... Uh, uh, when I watched it, um, I watched it a while before this again too. And I really, I really liked the name Dead Rabbits for like a gang. Name. I thought it was a weird gang name. I'm like, uh, I, 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 I want to know where the gang name came from. I like, can explain that. Oh, okay. Oh, did, did they have a part? Where I we can, can tell? explain oh, that. Because actually, from what I've I've heard, there was a real gang called the Dead Rabbits, there was. and it was an Irish gang. There was, and huh. it was. <laughs> what about all uh, of the gang names actually were, oh, were based real? on I real gangs? That. Yeah. See, um, I watched a little bit of the thing at the end that tells you about it, tells you about the five points and stuff. But I didn't watch the whole thing. I only knew about five points just because I did um, some research on it for a paper I wrote one time. Oh. So I knew a little bit going into this movie about it. Um, but yeah, like I've seen a picture of the real Bill the Butcher. So I just wanted to know why John lived as long as he did. Yeah, the friend, his friend that pretty much ratted him out. Yeah, 
That was so fun. So, and then he even, like, he, like, felt no, like, he took him right back, you know what I mean? Like, as his friend and everything, let him come back into his gang. But and, he didn't know. When he did tell him, he was like, you need to leave and never, I, yeah, I, he said, he, he said, said you, you need to leave and I never, I actually, never want to see oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah, he yeah. Left, he said, yeah, I have right. to kill you. And then he told him, no, you leave, you never come back. That's right. I guess that's right. And yeah, I guess he didn't know until then. When, yeah, because yeah, he said I was the one that, that, um. Yeah, that ratted you out or whatever. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Like, I guess he wouldn't have known yeah. who it was. Because um, I don't think when he ratted him out, I don't think he, he was going to... I don't think he thought Bill was going to go as bad as he did. Oh, come on. Oh, how could he for, not Yeah, how could he have not known? But he wasn't that smart of a guy, though. That's true, oh, but... he was he smart was also, he, was, he was... Dude, he, he was... He was more, he was he was wrapped just, up in, uh, I'm going to get rid of him, so I have her. Also, I no, don't think he thought Bill That's the only thing was, he was thinking of. He knew what Bill was Yeah, he knew what Bill He knew better than anybody But part of me, I also think that he thought Bill was going to kill him. He wasn't going to let him live. That's and what we're that's saying. What, yeah. yeah, that's uh, worse. Yeah. Well, no, because then <laughs> I'd rather have a scar than death. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like if I thought somebody was gonna kill my friend versus <coughs> scarring them, like I- I'd give him a heads up, be like, "Hey, I'm gonna tell on you." <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on, <laughs> give me the lady. <laughs> Let me have the lady, or I'm gonna knock you out. <laughs> I mean, come on. That's like, why I think he was doing those. He was he was saying, "Oh, I'll get him killed, and I won't feel bad as bad." I would feel worse if my friend got killed. That's not oh the God. point of the... What I'm saying, though, is that's not how the guy saying, thinks. I the guess. guy was more wrapped up in the woman that didn't care about him. <sighs> or she didn't love him, but she cared about him. Because at the one point, she even told him, I think you need to go home. When he was... In the, well, yeah, uh, she was... Uh, I'm just trying to protect him, but... Yeah. You know. I don't think she loved him. I think she thought of him well, more of as, like, not. a brother or something. Right. <laughs> the old brother thing. Um... <sighs> Uh, I this movie, I want to. She felt like a brother, the sub guy that wanted to date her. When I was dating her, uh, she said felt like a brother. Came back from Michigan, found out that she had basically dated him and ended up having a kid with him. That's a weird brother sister relationship. Yeah, um, that's why I thought. But what? I dated a girl. <laughs> I dated a girl in high school, and uh, and you find I, out she was your sister? No. <laughs> No. So I walked into like halfway through that conversation. I dated a girl and we had a friend named Sam and Sam wanted to date her, but she was with me. And she also told Sam and me that Sam felt more like a brother. Came back from Michigan. She had been dating Sam and she ended up having a kid with him. But their brother and sister? No, she 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 told him him that she felt like a That she thought of him like like a brother. brother. Oh, I bet that was weird sex. (laughs) (laughs) That's what I said. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> uh, so this movie is very much of, uh, and you realize this at the end mostly, that it's the the rich controlling the poor, which yeah. obviously yeah. happens. That all that the time. was the most intriguing so, thing for yeah. me was because because they were they were essentially pulling all these strings. Yeah, and with, I I it was it was played so much in the background almost yeah, that I that you didn't, didn't realize that it. you didn't realize yeah. it, and 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 then it becomes such a big. Uh, you know, plot point there at the end That's, and, and that the I was like, I was sort of taken aback by it. I was yeah, like, oh, right. yeah. oh, yeah, it's, yeah, that's it, it's, happening. It was still very subtle, though. Like, it was subtle enough that if you weren't paying attention to the movie, you're not going to realize it. Right. So, and, but it was something I caught. I was like, holy shit, and, this is and, actually well, see, just yeah, a, these fucking mustache twirling pieces of shit playing pool. They're all the ones controlling all this bullshit. Right. Well, they're also, it's just like today, it's the same thing. Oh, it's the same thing ever. Yeah. Yeah. Like, nowadays, all through you, history. Got the, the, you got these. Uh, you got the LGBT community think that they're going around. Oh, we're making changes. No, you're not. You're not making changes. That's somebody these, just these pulling rich strings, man. Are pulling your strings, making you pandering to you, making you think you're doing something yep. when you're doing the total opposite of what you. They'll let you go as far as as far as they allow it. Whatever, whatever benefits them and whatever fills their pockets. Yeah. Not to That's, get too yeah. political, but just as like you know, BLM, they let them go as far as. Yeah, and like, yeah. Uh, like I've said, it doesn't matter. Republican. If you don't believe uh, us, watch the uh, watch the uh, Candace Owens documentary. Yeah. If you, it doesn't matter what side you want, Republican, Democrat, they're all doing the same thing. It's either there's very few of them that are actually there yep. to help. Yep. They're the all there. To the, only thing that runs, the only thing that runs this country is money. That's so. right. And who has the money? Not the me. Rich. No. Yep. The, the rich. Not us. <laughs> I believe in the Illuminati. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> no, I'm not laughing about that. <laughs> I'm laughing about that. It's just, it's crazy because I'm laughing at the subtlety that in this movie that 
you don't catch on to that being such a big plot point, the money, right? You don't catch on to that being such a big thing that the rich people are pandering to these poor people and playing this yep. game. You don't catch on to it until the fucking riot. The yeah. riot happens and then you're going, oh shit. Yeah, that's happening. Yeah. I remember. I remember yeah. all of these things. The riot really drives a lot of these plot points home. Right. Uh, because, I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I think the, the riot is very ball. abrupt. Right. And I think it's very much something that um, kind of kills the end of the movie for me. Um, because we wanted that fight between Billy the Butcher and and, and then they do it all by just blowing off cannons. And then they just blow off and cannons. It, and, and it was so but did, almost unclimactic. It was how very it anticlimactic. Bill. Yeah. But did just, you also notice that what it kind of shows there is that they were helping each other, not Bill and the not Bill in uh, Amsterdam. But if you look when they're pulling people out of the out of the cans and stuff, they're helping each other. Oh, all the gangs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I I almost kind of lost it a little bit. Like, I don't really get emotional in movies and stuff, but like when that um the black guy that was in the dead room. Yeah, that pissed then, me off. I was like, "Uh-uh, no. Uh, you what did he do? Get the fuck away yeah, from him." Yeah, I was like, I "What was that like, guy do? He didn't even get a chance to fight in the fucking was, game. No. He, he, was, he was black. That's what it was." I know, I know but, but why didn't he stay in the 5 points? Why Yeah, why was he out wandering around? Dude, you know, I watched the movie and I liked the guy. Yeah, I what the hell was he doing there? My whole thing with that was why is he in the 5 points? He knows that there's going to be a fight. Why is he Yeah, why is he why is he out wandering around? Over there when he's supposed to be over here. Yeah. I didn't understand that either like was he just on his way to the gang thing, or like did he go to get a like, gallon? Hold on, of guys, you can't lost? kill me like, right now. I got a gang meeting. Like, fuck, dude. Like, what uh, were you doing out? Like, when your he whole gang in one I place. Seen that ga- like that bunch of people. I'm like, no. I was like, right. Uh. Uh-uh. Oh, that made me so yeah, sad. That was dumb. Also, the guy. Um, I need something cleared up for me. The guy who goes, "There's a in your church." Did they oh. kill him? Uh, no, 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 no. They beat his ass. Yeah, because I don't remember seeing him. They beat the, the, the fuck out of him. Yeah. I don't remember seeing him. The next time again, you so see he, him. He did. He gets shot. He gets oh, shot down yeah, in the streets. He, yeah, he does. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Because yeah, he's, he's running towards us. Okay. Yeah, like a jackass for whatever I, reason. I forgot that he was at that point. Remember the next time you see him, he's all bandaged up. He's all bandaged up. <laughs> yeah, they beat his ass. Yeah, they beat the fuck out of him. Yeah, I forgot. Also, I forgot about the point where he's running towards the soldiers and they shoot him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he got this I hated that fucking guy because he seemed like a cool dude at the beginning with Liam Neeson and shit. He's like, you know, yeah. tying his shoes and he gives you that little nod, like, what's up, dude? Yeah, like, I don't know. And then he's seeing again, he's like, this, whatever he was doing. He was sharpening the yeah, points. That's right. Like, yeah. That's, I don't under, like, what the fuck? All of those people, loyalty to Liam yeah. Neeson, and then they, like, just flip the switch. Oh, yeah. No, it's because they killed Liam. Uh, what I think it is, is I think what it was is when the battle, when the leader dies, it's over. Yeah, but there's other gangs you can join. That oh, was, that was well, obviously very clear. Yeah, well, instead of yeah, because they outlawed. The why same would you? Why, why would they you, just join another gang? Yeah, why or? would you pick the one that killed your 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 the oh, one you yeah. were supposed to be yeah, loyal to? You pick that guy. He's the only one that does it, I do believe. No, because I mean no, John C. Sheriff, Riley, yeah. he was like a he becomes cop. a fucking sheriff. Oh well, that guy just turned completely. I think I think he turned against everybody. Well, he's a cop getting paid by fucking Bill yeah, the Butcher. Getting paid, paid by the well, street. Well, everybody was paying Bill the Butcher, so it didn't... No, Bill the Butcher was paying him. Oh, uh, well, even because on his payroll, yeah. But that's... that's. But what I'm saying, though, is not... If you actually look a lot... He actually tells you a lot of the people from the Dead Rabbits don't join other gangs. They end up doing their own thing, like Hellcat. Sure, and I get that, but, like, these motherfuckers... How can, how, how can you be so loyal to somebody... How can, you know, I just don't understand that. How can you have the same... It's probably the threat of death. Well, they are I, gang members. I die. They are gang I don't members. Think, also, I don't think gangs are as loyal as yeah. people like to make them out. Because I've watched a lot of gang documentaries, and if you actually pay attention to them, they're not loyal. Now they're going to do whatever they have to to survive. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but like, I'm just saying, like, based on the way that these gangs were played out, like... Yeah. They were they were real family. Yeah, uh, like and these these gangs had purpose. There was a reason that they were. It's not because you know you're you're living in the hood and you want somebody's hubcaps. Right. This was survival. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So like, if you're loyal to somebody because they kept you alive or they kept your family safe or whatever, and then you're just gonna go, oh hey, my dude's dead. So hey, Bill, what's up? I just I don't get that. 
I don't understand it. Well, I don't even understand why Bill took the guy in to begin with. He wasn't. Yeah, he's, he was a. He, he wasn't native. He, Bill shouldn't even consider. Well, like, we've him. already established that Bill doesn't give a shit really about that. He's a. It's he's all a about the money. It's all about that money coming in. Yeah, he's he's a hypocrite. Uh, that's pretty much all I got. To, Me too. Uh, pretty much touched on everything I wanted to touch on. Um. So, doing reviews then. On to reviews. On to reviews. Um, do you want uh, do you want to do the Rotten Tomato thing first? Or uh, I usually get our reviews first and then do the Rotten Tomato thing. Well, I'm going to go first because I'm the host. Yeah. The you, host notice whenever, the hostess, you notice whenever hostess. we host, we're like, we, we let everybody else go first before ourselves. He's always like, I'm going first. That's the, fine. Well, it's, it's it's his show. I mean, I don't care. I just think it, it's funny. It's because I'm, I'm the hostess with the mostess. <laughs> but anyways, I gave the movie a seven and a half. And I was really close to eight. Like, it, like if it was like points, it'd be like seven point nine five. <laughs> and it's just because, like, I, I like the time point. I like the movies just catching. I like a lot of the. Also, I don't know what it is, but the style that they dressed in back then, I like that too because it was always fancy. It was always like, even if it wasn't like the greatest clothes, it was still. Dress pants and a vest. Yeah. <laughs> and and I, I think that's neat because people don't do that anymore. Sure, yeah. I did love the top hats. <laughs> yeah, the top hats were <laughs> cool. But yeah, it's just, it's the time period and stuff really grabs me. And then the whole story and the fact that it is based on true stuff with like the locations and stuff. And like Karen said, the locations were just cool. The way they made all the all the places, like like I've always the set designs. In a cave. The living in a cave thing was cool. And just like a lot, yeah, the, the set designs were amazing. Like the one thing where they had all the different floors. Them streets had to be, they, there's no way that some of them street scenes were were set builds. Like they had to have been oh, yeah, actual those, places. Of they, were, they were set builds. And all of them? Yeah, they were set builds um, because there was a, uh, a piece of trivia I didn't write down because it was like ridiculously long. So I'll just go from memory, but... It was essentially all of them were set builds. They were huge, obviously, but um, I believe it was uh, mm, it was another director, a famous one, James Cameron, maybe uh, came to visit and basically told Michael, my or er, uh, Martin Scorsese, you know, you can do this with CGI now. Basically, kind of like slapped his hand for building such elaborate sets. I would have. I, I like the build. That's the, the sad part. That that just goes to show where James Cameron's gone. I, I, yeah. I, I like the fact that he built the sets for. I agree. Because that's that makes more sense. Because you can tell sometimes when CGI, even if it's real good CGI, you can tell it's CGI. Oh yeah, for sure. But yeah, I, I'm kind of like with you, Joseph. But practical effects are the best. Yeah, for sure. I love practical. Like that's effects. why I like. Too. That's what I like about. That just goes to show that you put actual hard work. And, and it, love it, into it shows. It shows exactly. Like one of the things that I liked about Underworld when it came out is that those were people in costumes. Yeah, those yeah. were people in stilts and stuff. They yeah. weren't CGI. And it was awesome. They looked good too. Yeah, uh, and uh, that's what I really liked about that. But yeah, I like I said, seven and a half, real close to eight because yeah, I just liked the setting. I thought the story was good, and I have a George thing. George Lucas. Sorry. Oh yeah. That, that's even worse. That explains a lot. But I I also, I have a thing. I like learning about gangs. And these kind of gangs are a lot more interesting. Because like Karen said, they these point these gangs did it because it was survival, not because... There was a lot more, uh, uh, there was a lot more politics involved with these yeah. gangs. Whereas with gangs nowadays and shit, it's just, I'm going to kill you because you're on my turf or over yeah. drugs or whatever. Back then, it every, everybody that... These gang fights and things like that. It was all stabbings. about money. It then. was not just about money, but it was also about um, power, control, uh, respect, and and who can have what. And you know what I mean? Like well, it was see, all about I, control back. I then. also like the fact that it was a lot different. Also than it with is this, nowadays. I like the fact that when uh, Leo goes, uh, "I'll let you pick the weapons," and then he goes through all these weapons and he says, "Guns." And Leo goes, "No guns." And he no goes, guns. Good boy. Yeah. And I like the fact that yeah, because screw guns, man. Well, they saw it as <laughs> they saw it as a cop out. I think yeah. that that guns are a cop out. So, um, yeah, I like that they were like more hand to hand combat yeah. bricks, 
bats, knives. We can do chains, that. Chains, all chains, that, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, it, well, not to it, mention back then guns were a lot less handy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they, they weren't near as like handy. They only had yeah. one shot. Yeah, yeah like, they had <laughs> musket loaders and shit like that. So. Yeah. But yeah. But yeah, I like I said, just the time period and stuff is really what makes the movie for me. And yeah, like when I was young, I saw this movie and I was like, it's not bad, which was weird because I wasn't into movies like that. But now, for some odd reason, I got older and I got really into like the older your taste times. sure your yeah. taste will mature mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and that's what i just really like that's why i like it. if you don't like a movie now go back into it in like 10 years and see if your taste changes. yeah that's true yeah. <laughs> i need to rewatch drive i hated it the first time i watched it. i didn't like it much either the first time yes, that's the only time i've ever watched it I should watch it again. and i heard like everybody was like oh man that movie's so amazing blah, blah blah i'm like i don't know maybe i need just need to rewatch it that's where i'm at yeah, because like when Gangs of New York came out, I thought it was a good movie, but I would I never would have seen myself watching it again. Now it's like one of I will say it's probably one of my favorite movies. Yeah, but uh, okay, so let's go to next, Joseph. Let's um, I would say I loved a lot of things about the movie. It had some things that I didn't care for. The ending was anticlimactic. The ending could have been uh, a lot Yeah, better. I just <laughs> mostly between Billy the Butcher and Amsterdam, I think that that could have been a whole lot more than it was. Even if it was maybe supposed to be somewhat accurate or whatever, um, still make it, it's still a movie. You know what I mean? I want to see the, like, we've been waiting for this the whole, for fucking two and a half hours. <laughs> I want to see these two go at it. The, the fighting could have been better. Yeah. Because yeah, so, they didn't even it really fight. That, he, he pulled I mean, a thing out and then he says something and then the. And and then the way he stabs him too is very Leonardo DiCaprio, DiCaprio. <laughs> <laughs> the way he like yells and like stabs him is very. You've seen him do this before. It wasn't even good acting on his part, and I was just kind of like, okay, we've seen him do that yell before and that sort of like. There wasn't anything behind it. It was like basically, I'm killing you because you killed my dad. Yeah. So, and, but and Daniel Day Lewis, man, he's fucking. He just him as Bill the Butcher, dude. He is amazing in this movie. Like. Just watching him act and, like I said, his breathing, right See, down to I his his voice notes, all these things, his looks, the way he's, he's he the way he you know he presents himself it. and talks and walks and just how he is. That part where he says "Whoopsie Daisy," oh yeah, I fucking love that part, guy, dude. dude. Like I fucking rolled on it. Like that part was really funny to me. <laughs> yeah, but no, like, no, no, it's it's sad that like because like I said, I I don't. I've never really seen much with Daniel Day Lewis, but the bad thing is, it's it's one of those things that it's really hard to say like Bill the Butcher, but he did a good job as Bill the Butcher. Yeah, it's like it's a dumb fucking name for such a great character, but like at the same time, you're like, if it's you very 1800s. Yeah, but like it's just I don't know, dude. Like he killed, he fucking makes the movie. Without him, this movie would not be near as good. I like the um, fact also that he. He pretty much says throughout the movie that Leonardo DiCaprio's dad was the last noble person. Yeah, that know. he the last person that he can uh, of any kind of note that he could remember killing. Um, and he, he there's even a part where he says he killed the best person years ago or something, yeah. like fifteen years ago or something. Like that. And uh, so, but I don't know, man. The movie the movie's good. They could shave some time off of it. I think that they're it's too long in areas. Um, and by the end of it, you just want it to end because it's been so long. Um, I can't say that. I, I can't. Well, just like towards the, like the, the first half of the movie was fantastic, and then it gets into that last hour or so of the movie, and you're just like, oh my god, dude, where are they going with this now? Um, and uh, but other than that, no, I'll give it a um, I give it a six and a half. I also will say I like the end where it shows the tombstones. I didn't like that part in the back. I didn't like where it. Where the town changes. And I like it I because like that was taking me out of that period, and I didn't like that. So, like, show the I, tombstones, I show them age a little bit, maybe, but don't show me, like, a fully erect fucking New York City. I don't want to see that because you just took me right out of what I just watched. Everything I just watched is, I'm right out of it. Like, you're telling me that it was all for nothing, essentially, and they were all forgotten and blah, blah, blah. And so I just time wasted. marches on. You just you just took me out of everything. You, yeah, I, you just I, took me out of everything. I just everything watched. that I felt like I know yeah. time marches on. I'm not stupid. I'm not. Like, yeah, I, I don't need you to fucking. I don't need you to walk me through this with my holding my hand. You know what I mean? Like I don't need that. I know that that's what I, you know. It's the 1800s. Of course, it don't exist anymore. No right. But still, I don't need you to show me an erect fucking New York City. Almost 200 years or well, 150 years later. I think it's I just showing it. you that it changed. I understand that, but I don't need to see that. 
for the movie for the movie's sake I, they didn't I, need to show I, it I, I get what he's saying it, it takes you away from you know you're you're watching this surreal scene with you know him saying goodbye to his father for the last time essentially right yeah. he's you know looking at his, at his grave and he's saying goodbye to his father for the last time and then he's you know he's walking away and you're 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 left with that feeling like okay but then here's new york city and then all of a sudden <laughs> oh boom there's there's bustling there's, manhattan yeah there's fucking I, the brooklyn bridge and, yeah and like yeah i don't need it, to see all that yeah i don't i it took me out of that yeah. last feeling of feeling you know about remembering these people you know, in 1800s New York. Yeah, what happened to Leo and his old lady? Like, yeah. did they go on to have a happy life? Or, you know, I, I don't fucking know because they just show me in New York 150 years later, essentially. Like, just fade to black. Yeah. It's just Yeah, yeah. just fade to black. Kinda you don't need to that show... New York still sucks. Huh? Kind of showed me that New York yeah, still right? sucks. But yeah, I'll come in at, I'll come in at a six and a half. Um, it's not the greatest movie I've ever seen. Um, honestly, I think without Daniel Day-Lewis... This movie would have easily been like a fucking five and a half because he just murders the movie, man. He just, he kills it. I love it. And he does such a great job with Bill the Butcher. Um, but yeah, six and a half. That's me. Sure. Um, I loved, as, as I said, the set designs, the wardrobe, the accents. I, they nailed it. Um, and Daniel Day Lewis, amazing. Um, but I, I do agree with the assessment that, you know, it's sort of, you know, the first part of the movie. And then as soon as like, you know, Bill and Leo have their, uh, you know, falling out, the movie seems to kind of fall apart. Like they don't really know where they're going after that and falls off the edge a little bit. It, it, yeah. And, and it, that's not to say that they didn't maybe have a vision for it. I mean, it certainly seems like they had a vision for it. It just doesn't have the same feel you know i wasn't as into it you weren't as invested yeah yeah, yeah like i it, they, they they weren't pulling me in as well as they were in right. the first part because daniel day lewis was pulling you in with the whole dynamic between him and amsterdam like you were watching that for about an hour and a half you know what i mean like well, watching these two characters who you know amsterdam wanted to rip his fucking head off yeah you know but he was or biding his time he? or did he yeah right? or did he yeah right. exactly but like it wasn't just that though it was more like you almost saw this thing happening in the second half or maybe i'm reading incorrectly into it i don't know but where you know the first half was all about leo and bill and their dynamic right and then the second half they had this falling out and then you're seeing the two characters separately all the time. There's no more, like, dynamic between the two of them, which I get to a certain extent. But, like, you know, there's not even, like, this... You don't have any internal dialogue for them at all. Right. You know, to say, like, what's Bill thinking? Does he feel betrayed? Is You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no... Like, I mean, I, obviously, I'm sure he does to a certain extent. And I'm sure he's pissed. And I'm sure there's all kinds of things going on. There's some mixed feelings. But there's yeah. no there's no internal... You know, you're not invited into his house anymore. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like They you, take you away from everything that is going on with him. You were once invited into that house as an audience. And yeah. you're not there anymore. And, and you don't... You're just with these dead rabbits over yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. There's no... There's no, yeah. like... I see what you're saying. Yeah. Like, you... There, I think you're they just missing. take you out. Of, they just completely take you out of Billy the Butcher's world. Yeah, you're completely out of that and world. You're just and you're stuck only, in Amsterdam's yeah, world. Yeah, and so. there's there's no, there's no. So you're missing that dynamic yeah. completely. You're not yeah. getting both sides anymore. And I feel like that was. A I feel. Bit... I, I feel like you're right. This is definitely the whole movie is set up to be a two way street. Mm -hmm. And after that first half, it's very much a one way street with Amsterdam. Right. So you're only on his side, and you're not on Billy's side anymore. Like you don't want to well, see. Well, I don't even think it's about sides. No, I'm not anymore. saying on his side, but I'm like you're not seeing anything from his perspective anymore. Yeah, you're not getting that um, insight exactly. anymore into yeah. what's happening over here anymore. And it seems almost like um, like you're missing it, you know? Yeah. Um, and I agree, there were certain parts that could have been fleshed out more, and certain parts that they went they took and fleshed out too much. Uh, so I don't know if they could have shortened the movie by by doing that. I think it probably still would have been the same amount of time. It just would have been fleshed out better. Right. The pacing would have made more if sense. If they would have fleshed it out better and done better with the pacing, I would have been okay with a two-hour, 47-minute yeah. runtime. Yeah. But it was the, like, where's this going? It's dragging here. Why are yeah. they staying so long on the scene? Yeah. 
You know, just shit like that. You're like, you know, like the, the pointless scenes. You're like, what is the point of this? Yeah. You know, so those are the things that killed that last half sure. for me. So, so um, but because of the, uh, like you said, the, the meat grinder, I, I noticed that as well, that, that yeah. scene, the meat grinder with the people coming off the boat, getting back on a boat, and then the coffins coming off, that really set a stage with me. You even hear, heard one guy on that part say, do you think they feed us now? Or yeah, you, know, you hear a guy talk about getting fed. Yeah, because they were so hungry. Yeah. 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 Um, the sets, because they're practical, because I, that automatically gives a one-up for me because I love practical effects. And then Daniel Day-Lewis, his performance automatically is going to bring it up a little bit for me. So I'm going to go kind of in the middle and say seven for me. Okay. So... That's mine. Okay. Um, can somebody bring up the Rotten Tomatoes and stuff? <laughs> I don't know where my phone is. <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> I'm sorry. I don't pay attention to where my phone is all the time. I actually spend a lot of time without my phone. That's fine. <laughs> it's just funny because you're like, I don't know where my phone is. Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> I'll type in Rotten Tomatoes, but you have to type cheater. in the... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't want to be I pronounced a cheater. Uh, I already did go. it. You already did what? I already pronounced you a cheater. Oh, well, that's just fucked up. Put it in the search area? Obviously. Yeah. Calm down. Chill. Act like you've used a phone before, Matthew. It's almost Christmas. you got to be nice now. <laughs> bah humbug! <laughs> <laughs> It hasn't popped up yet. That's weird. Okay. You got it? I pushed it. Come on. <laughs> he pushed a button. I heard your phone. <laughs> <laughs> You're showing it to me. It's not in my pockets. Don't don't show it to okay. me. Okay. What do you guys think the, the reviewers gave it out of 240 reviews? The reviewers reviews, or the critics? The critics? The critics. I bet that the critics gave it a... Oh, well, I high. bet they licked this movie's ass. Oh, for sure. Yeah, score, 96. Martin Scorsese. 96? <laughs> Are you real oh, that's a little you? extreme. No. This ain't no Godfather, no. okay? Let's get real All here. right, I'm going to go uh, 87. 87. I don't think, I don't know, man. I don't know if it's quite that high. I'm going to go 82. And you said 87? Joseph, you win. Yeah. It was 72. 72. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that low. Well, that's, they're the critics, but still. Yeah, but still, though, Daniel Day-Lewis. Okay, that's yeah. low for that this is low. movie. Wow. 72. How many, how many critics were there? 214. Wow, okay. That's so it's 214 low. reviews, so I figure that's... that's, that's yeah, that's, that's critical. That's low. 250,000 plus ratings for audience. What do you think that is? Oh, I'm going to go... Uh, I bet it's lower. Uh, you think so? Mm -hmm. I bet it's lower. Uh, I don't know. Um, I mean, I think it's lower than the, the critics for sure. Kind of like the... Well, I mean, lower than... Oh, man, I don't know. 75. 75... Uh, fuck. That's a good guess. Um, well, no, they said it was. I don't know, man. I bet it's lower though. Lower? I mean, I don't know. It can't be lower than the critics because. I bet it is lower. I bet it is lower than it's the. It's a good movie. It is a good movie, but it's the runtime. It drags at the end. Yeah, but what are we uh, like? Back, kindergartners. Back, we can't. Yeah, sit but there back a then, movie? I don't know, man. I don't know when Rotten Tomatoes came out, but. I guess Daniel Day Lewis is a bit of a I critical mean, darling Titanic now. I mean, Titanic did amazing, and it's not even as good a movie as this. Would you just choose already? I'm, I'm <laughs> thinking. <laughs> What'd you say? Uh, Seventy-five. Seventy-five. I'm gonna, I'm gonna one dollar down. Oh Jesus! I'm gonna one dollar downer. Uh, Seventy-four. Karen, you win. Eighty-one percent. Fuck. Really? really? It was higher. Oh. Wow. Okay. 81%. 81 percent. Eighty-one percent. And let's see what people said. We're find some at one the stars and, and remember. Home. <laughs> don't get angry, Matt. Oh, I don't care anymore. Oh. <laughs> Till he does. Okay. Uh, no, actually, I, don't, I really don't care anymore. Okay. Uh, we're looking for one stars. Well, these are all the critics, so let's. You can just look at a critic's consensus. They're not going to. You're not going to find anything funny out of them. 
they all just have the either either a splat or a tomato. Well, the critics' consensus would be at the top, under the tomato meter. What? It just says people. It says people. It's top critic. Top critic. That's all it says. Top critic. Like where you guys all read the. Do you want me to find them for you, Matt? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here, I got this, man. All right, critics consensus. Though flawed, the sprawling, messy Gangs of New York is redeemed by impressive production design and Day Lewis's electrifying performance. Okay, where are you reading this? That's the, just the critics' consensus at the oh, top. Is that all? Oh, that's what that is. Yeah, that's just like their consensus or whatever. So we're gonna. All right, I'm gonna scroll down here and we're gonna find some negative audience reviews because you know there's got to be at least one or two good ones. Because you know those people like to. I think that the people that do the bad ones just want to prove that they know big words. Because <laughs> like, you know, sometimes, you know, like, sometimes you do get that um, <laughs> that like, like, feeling. Like, like how many times do you have to go through a thesaurus to look up words that just mean bad? <laughs> I didn't like it. Mm. No, they have to use those like it was atrocious. Here's here's a here's a one and a half star. Um, says well, yeah. all right. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you got it taken away. <laughs> it's a one star and a one and a half star by Guthrie. Guth, get Guthrie. Get something. <laughs> <laughs> His name. <laughs> but it says pretty sets, makeup, etc. But so, so much OT. <laughs> OTT. OTT? OT ridiculous gratuitous gratuitous violence. It's about gangs. <laughs> Historically st- silly. Probably the worst Martin Scorsese film. It could uh, it could all have been so interesting. Hard to believe the same director who made The Age of Innocence. Never seen that. And why he casts Cameron Diaz is also a complete mystery. I like how he complained about... Um, Violence in a movie yeah, called uh, Gangs of New York. Right. I mean, but, like, I'm not big on like gratuitous violence either, but it gratuitous. makes sense. <laughs> gratuitous. gratuitous. I'm not big on gratuitous violence either, but what it makes sense, it makes sense. It's about gangs, man. And and and, <laughs> and honestly, it's look, not really as violent as it could. But be. But here's the yeah. thing: you're calling it gratuitous violence. The very definition of gratuitous means that it's not needed. Yeah. So it's not gratuitous. It's just violence. It's just violence, yeah. And it's not even it's not even over the top violence. It's more uh realistic violence. Cuz it's not overly violent. It's right. not more violent than it has to be. Right. Like yeah, the scenes that are violent are violent, but they're not gutting people. They're not brains aren't flying out everywhere right. like a zombie movie. I mean, this is just it's showing the realism of actual violence in the streets with these gangs. Yeah, this, I mean... Okay, so, I'm, no, your fucking gratuitous violence comment makes no fucking sense. I'm having a problem finding anything else that's low. This one's three and a half, and it says, for some reason, this is, it says, for some reason, this movie didn't really click with me. I was not a fan of the flow this movie went in. I could have been, I have, I could have been because of the length, but I think it was because of the different cuts the movie made. That... I agree. But that I wouldn't have given it such a low rating for that. It wasn't. No, because it was still well acted and well yeah. made and things like that. Some the of those things you cuts, could set aside. Movies that made that made and took me out of it. Yeah, but three and a half stars puts it at about what what, what I scored it. No, at. that's 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 yeah. No, I guess no, that's no, true. No, no, it's two and a half stars. My bad. Oh, and that's by Trent J. Yeah, I wouldn't go that. But far. other than I wouldn't that, go that low. Right. Like all these. Like, here's a three. It says, well, it had a triumph, especially Dave Daniel Day Lewis, and the 1800 set design. Gangs of New York fell short, and, and it's lacking plot and over over long runtime. A lot of people that are short and are kind of say just because it's long. Yeah, I mean, we were bitching about it too, but like <sighs> this one has five stars. And it says Daniel Day Lewis makes this movie incredible to watch, <clears throat> and he does do a really good job. He really is the best part of the movie. Yeah. But uh, yeah, there aren't like the lowest after that one that I read was like a, a two and a half, and then the rest are like three. Yeah, I don't imagine there's Consider too many. Consider this was a Scorsese film. I was surprised at the lack of quality. 
this, oh, the opening fight scene was so bad. I liked the the, the fight scene. In the I liked beginning. it. I could see why people could think it was bad because it was kind of poorly choreographed. But I think it was meant to be that way because it's a couple of gangs. These guys aren't martial artists. Mm-mm. You know what I mean? They're gang members. Yeah. They're just going to run in and they're going to hit people. Mm-hmm. But you know the, what I mean? The opening fight scene was so bad it looked like a high school production fight. That's at, because it was meant to be shot that way. At one point, Liam Neeson kills someone with a sword and they literally do the sword under the armpit special effect i i didn't see that but okay I mean, maybe it's a possibility but I mean, for maybe, me yeah. it was accents that ruined it i think they did great the how accents, any oh actual, god i thought that was amazing how any actual irishman could sit through this without squir- squirming at every awful attempt to mimic their accent the is whole point me. is that each accent was different because they were supposed they were, to be different because yeah. they were supposed to be americanized oh yeah because everybody had been there for different amounts of time yeah. Here's one. Oh, wow. Okay. This is the last one I'm reading because this is by Samuel L. And it's really long. So Jackson? I, I don't <laughs> is know there a lot of here. MFers in there? <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker! Says, a, a messy film in every sense of the word. The pacing was, I think it was meant to be kind of messy, though, because it was New York in the 1800s, was poor, and things ran on the way too long. Everybody thinks it ran too long. The plot wasn't believable, Due to all of the weird gangs and silly drama. The movie's called (laughs) Gangs of New York! (laughs) I I kind of feel like an idiot. I was five episodes in, and. (laughs) (laughs) That's never gonna get old, I swear to God. And the story was predictable for the most part. The cast was excellent, okay? We're going to switch gears, but the actual acting could have been better at times. Daniel Day Lewis put on a show, but. It was more like theater acting. None of the characters were good. What the fuck does that mean? Some of the extras did a terrible job during the I fight scenes. I happen to scenes. like theater. What does theater acting have to do with anything? If e. the e. theater the- actors are the best kind of actors. I happen to like live theater, ass. Okay, e.g. the <laughs> fighting, the opening battle, which ruined immersion because you can see them not even trying. The choreograph during the first fight was so some of the worst I have Did ever seen. Did we miss something? Because then the co- cinematography was dreadly thought throughout. Dreadly throughout the virtual effects and soundtrack were acceptable, but far from good. Definitely the worst Scorsese, fi- Scorsese film I've ever watched. See, that's why, like, like. Okay, don't be like, wrong. I, 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 I will, I will say, don't use big words. I will say that some of the special effects in the movie weren't the best. They were not the best. Some of the like, certain, you know, what I mean by special effect, like you know, like some of the punching and the things like things that you would think you would have a bigger pack. So you're talking about pack. like the choreography and the fights and stuff like no, that. No, no, no. The actual sound effects. Oh, the sound. The sound effects. effects. Oh, got you. Got you. So oh, like those. Oh my gosh. So here's another one, but I'm not going to read this. But it, it actually says something about them using the N word. Says, and of course, we have to include plenty of N words since there's something important to do with slavery. Was this review after 2016? Uh, I mean, 2021. Yeah. Makes sense. I mean, it's a period piece. Yeah, it makes sense that there's another movie that couldn't be made today. Just saying. No, it could. No, it couldn't because they'd have to cut. No. All of those pivotal points out because it's going to offend no, somebody. No, it could because, and here, here's here's the important part, people. It's a period piece. God. I don't care. They, they want to cancel the 1800s. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, okay. We got to cancel 1846. That just can't exist anymore. The weak story is okay. not worthy of Daniel Day-Lewis's f- fantastic performance. That's all that guy said. Two stars. Here's another one. I'm not going to read them if they're real long. You don't have to keep reading them. Yeah, dude, we're already... Uh, I, I'm sorry. Yeah. I got you, into you, it. I mean, we <laughs> only read a few. Yeah, we only read a couple, <laughs> you man. Just, you just, just keep reading it. You just find a few good ones. <laughs> Matt, you can Calm read down, these in your sir. free time, okay? <laughs> yeah. I'll Calm send down, you the sir. link. <laughs> Last time you told me to calm down because I was too... Uh, too too, uh, too active. Too now emotional. You're to t- calm down because I run too much. <laughs> and too emotional. <laughs> now you're too invested. 
Well, because I, I did really think after the last time I hosted, I was like, it was kind of, because really that isn't how I really act when it comes to people's opinion. Whatever, you mean you got your own opinion. I know, that's why that's I was why like. I decided to really go into it. With, that's you why, know, I, yeah, that's really why when opinion. you got so upset, I was like, oh my gosh, like he's really upset. Like, calm down. Oh, what a weird owl movie. I know. Really yeah. did make me mad. <laughs> Those people, I just don't think they understood Weird Al's. I told you why. I know. Everybody who listens to the show daily remembers why I have a, uh, <laughs> a problem with the Weird Al people. But I just, I'm not getting into it, man. Mm-mm. Okay, yeah, but I'm going to avoid the subject. We got so, messy. So that's the reviews and trivia. Karen. Kay. Tell us some trivia. To simulate Bill's fake eye, Daniel Day Lewis had his own eye covered in prosthetic glass. Can you imagine how uncomfortable that, that was? That would have been horrible. Yeah, I saw that. I was wondering how uh, they did that. Yeah. Most of the gangs mentioned by name were real 19th century New York gangs. The Butcher is largely based on William Poole, uh, who is also known as the Butcher and had the same reputation as the character of Daniel Day Lewis. Okay. So, I, yeah, I've seen a picture of him. Yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio accidentally broke Daniel Day Lewis's nose during a fight scene, uh, and Daniel <laughs> but, but, Day. But it was horrible. They were fake. It, it, the fa- fighting looked so fake. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but Daniel Day Lewis, like a fucking champ, continued to fight despite the injury. They didn't even know that well, his nose was th- broken until it started to bleed. Didn't Leonardo DiCaprio also like cut his hand up real bad in the scene? Yeah, doing uh, uh, Django and Chain. Yeah. Yeah. Daniel Day Lewis became so uncomfortable with the greasy hairstyle that he wore during filming that as soon as uh, his filming parts were wrapped, he immediately shaved his head. Oh, horror. I bet his hair was. Oh yeah, I kept yeah, thinking that throughout. Yeah. I was watching the movie, like. Ugh. And then also with that cat that he. <laughs> oh wore yeah. In the butt fight yeah. scenes. Yeah. Yeah. Can you, can you imagine? Like he probably left the set and just went straight to a barber and was like, "Get just all just of it, shave it off." Yeah. The name Dead Rabbits has a uh, second meaning, meaning rooted in the Irish American vernacular of 1856. The word rabbit is a phonetic corruption of the Gaelic word rabid, uh, rabiad, which means man to be feared. Dead was a slang intensifier meaning very, so dead rabbit literally means man to be greatly feared. That, okay, that makes a lot more sense yeah, then. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Martin Scorsese and Leonardo DiCaprio both uh, took salary deductions to preserve the budget on the film. That's cool. Martin Scorsese wanted Liam Neeson to play uh, Monk McFinn, the sheriff guy. Yeah. Uh, but Neeson asked to play uh, the pre- Priest Valen instead. I wish I wish he had a bigger role as Priest Valen. I like Priest Valen. I thought he was pretty good. Yeah, cool. but if he, he, if he would have had a bigger role, it would have been the yeah. sheriff and he would have been back. Yeah, yeah, and he didn't want to play the sheriff. He thought he would have a bigger impact as Priest Valen, apparently. So, since you guys know more about actors, is Liam Neeson Irish? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Because he's seen. I've seen him do a lot of Irish roles. I, have, uh, I thought he was, but I wasn't sure. Does anybody here own the movie High Spirits? No. Anybody? So I would be the only one if I picked that movie. You guys would all have to borrow my copy. Unless it's somewhere. Because that's the first it. Liam Neeson movie. That's the first movie he's ever in. It's really good. It's really funny. Anyway. Martin Scorsese. Uh, oh, I already read that one. Uh, where the butcher taps his glass eye. And, um, you know, that scene where he tapped yeah, it with the wondering. knife. And um, where he yells the whoopsie daisy, that part you really liked. <laughs> yeah. um, those were both ad libbed by Daniel Day Lewis. That's both awesome. Of, both of those scenes. That was one of my favorite parts. Whoopsie daisy! Yeah. Doesn't he stab a guy? Uh, the, no. The, the, he kills a guy? No, he throws a knife at Cameron Diaz and, like, just oh, barely yeah. nicks her neck. Uh, yeah, he goes, whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie daisy! Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> the way the he knife, says it just cracks me up. All right, this is, where, this is where this shit goes off the rails for me. I wrote <laughs> all this stuff down because it goes off the fucking rails. When the film was first conceived in 1978, Martin Scorsese planned to cast... You guys ready for this shit? He planned to cast Dan Aykroyd as Amsterdam Valid and John Belushi as Bill the fucking Butcher. Was it going to be a comedy? Be no. A... No. That doesn't I mean, even sense. in 1978, that's a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they're too comical, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. They're comedy. That's so, yeah. um, and they actually did have table readings and everything. Like, this was a legit project they were working on. Huh. And I'm the project... I the, like those actors, but I'm happy they didn't do that. Right. The project only fell apart because Belushi died. So, I mean, I'm not saying... 
that was a good thing. Just they still could have remade it, I guess. It would have been so long well, in the when, future. When like, I was looking through the thing, there there was another movie called Gang. I think it was Gang and Gangs of New York. And it was like made in the seventies or something. There was, well, there was a they did have a that cast was a reshuffle. Um, that was gonna have that was supposed to be Mel Gibson and Willem Dafoe, and it was gonna be Mel Gibson as Valen and uh, Willem Dafoe as the Butcher. That's better, but I mean, I don't, I don't think, and I, I couldn't find out why that one fell apart, but it did. Mel Gibson, I think, was too old at the po- at the time. This is in the seventies, honey. Yeah, but Mel Gibson still. Yeah, what? Well, when when did Mad Max came out? Come uh, out? I don't know. Early eighties or late seventies. Yeah, so it would have been around Mad Max time. Yeah, but Mad Max looked like an adult. He didn't look like... Yeah, but he still looked fairly young, Yeah, he looked, he, looked young. he looked pretty young. He had he pretty young blue enough. eyes. You gotta remember, Leonardo DiCaprio, when he was young, he had a baby face. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but, he was almost 30. Yeah, but so. also... He's, he's Mel Gibson, pushing I don't think, would play now. a good Irishman. Who? Mel Gibson, I don't think. No, he's like fucking Australian. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm just saying that's that. that I told you this goes off you know, the rails a little bit. I talked to an Australian, and he said that everybody in Australia hates Mel Gibson because he was mean. To I people. believe that. This is where it's going to go off the rails even more. You guys ready for this? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm born ready, baby. Martin Scorsese also offered the role of the butcher too. Anybody want to guess? I mean, uh, we're going off the rails. Okay. Uh, what year was it? it? This is all in the 70s. Hmm. Gotta be somebody who wouldn't be good role. It's not, not a good one at all, in my opinion. I'm thinking it's a comedian. Even given the the roles that he does today. Oh, he still does roles today, and he's still a comedian. No. She didn't say yes to comedian. But even no, no. All right, I'll give you some hints. He he used to be strictly comedian actor, and then he kind of went into some serious roles, Um, and he does good for all of them. But not, I would no, uh uh. Is he a larger man? No. Tall. It's not Jim Carrey because he wouldn't have been around then. Would it have been uh, Chevy Chase? No. Tall. Tall. Dark Steve hair. Steve Martin. Mm-mm. Dark hair. Oh. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. What? Tom Hanks. For uh, Bill the Butcher. Bill the Butcher. Maybe not Bill the Butcher. No. I could see him. Actually, I don't even know. I couldn't see him in this movie at all. It definitely not Bill the Butcher. Right? Yeah. yeah. That, not. So, okay, now that we're out of crazy land, let's I get back into some other shit. I think he was just going shit. with who, who was popular that day. He, uh, yeah. he was. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is insane to me. Uh, so, then uh, Daniel Day-Lewis actually hired two circus performers to travel to his home to teach him to throw knives. He also went to a butcher shop for several weeks to learn how to incise and cut car carcasses i like i like actors who do that well that's method acting yeah that's what uh, they do i I also believe that um that he could have gotten somebody better to play amsterdam than leonardo dicaprio like he did a good job don't get me wrong i'm not saying that but i think that this role could have been handed to a variety of different people yeah i think that valen would have been a little easier to to cast than i mean daniel day lewis it doesn't matter what he plays. It's kind of like Gary Oldman. He could be playing you. He, you, yeah. wouldn't, you wouldn't know. Yeah. But, um, like, in, in, like, Leo's case, like, that character, the way he played it, anybody could have done that. It wasn't exact. I mean, he did a good fair. job. Mm-hmm. But I think that he it, the, his acting chops for the movie was no better than And I, he was the still beach. refining a lot. I think it would have yeah. been easier to cast uh, Valen than it would have been Bill the Butcher. Oh, that, for that's sure. what I'm saying, yeah. 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 <laughs> and, yeah. Um, he also uh, went out to dinner with DiCaprio and Scorsese one night after filming and uh, refused to break character because obviously he won't. He's a, breath- he's a method actor. I wonder if that, yeah, yeah, wonder if that got on their nerves. Isn't the that, isn't the waitress that- was so scared of him that she wouldn't even go near him. And um, he also said that he listened to the music of Eminem to, to prepare for the role. Eminem? Eminem. That that's why yeah. I, I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> I don't I'm just telling you his part. method. Maybe it was maybe it was the old shit. Like he was trying to get into that, like into a darker sense. Fuck, I don't know. It just says Eminem. I think it's funny that the the, the waitress was scared of him. Yeah, <laughs> they they literally had to take his order from him and give it to her. Isn't she that kind of what? Isn't that what Shia LaBeouf gets a lot of crap for? Because he does that kind of crap. Method acting, yeah. Yeah, because I I know lawlessness or lawless. I got the movie. He was drunk on moonshine yeah. the whole thing him and him and tom that hardy an excuse yeah. saying he's a method yeah. actress so him and tom hardy time. actually hated each other he actually decked tom hardy on and then he's yeah. also he also Which is hit, a bold move that's yeah, a very bold move in fury he didn't bathe 
Yeah. For the yeah. tank scene. Actually, a lot of And they of hated them, it because they, he stunk, because they were all stuck uh, in that tank together. Uh, yeah, and he wanted it to be more realistic. And then I think he also, I think That's very from realistic. that one, he hit, Brent, he ball, hit Brad Pitt. Yeah, him and Brad Pitt got into it. Yes. <laughs> uh, the woman with the foul down teeth we were talking about. Wow, um, Hellcat. Hellcat, yeah. Um, that was seen fighting with the side of the Irish. She is based on a, a real woman who had teeth filed down and wore big artificial nails made of brass that she used as claws. She was called Hellcat Maggie, and she died in 1845 at the age of 25. Not oh. my, Nothing else is really known about oh, her. Oh, wow. Hmm. I would like to learn about her, but 25? 25. She was young. Well, was most fair. of them were back well, then. Yeah. They, I think the average lifespan was 35. <laughs> yeah, I think so. It was, they weren't very old back mm-hmm. then. You know, I was actually told... Because of all the famine like, and... It's funny because somebody told me a joke where why we're all breaking down and stuff when we're 35 is because we would be dead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the early 1800s, we'd be considered old men. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah Michelle Geller was originally cast as Jenny, but had to back out due to scheduling conflicts with Buffy. Scorsese. Uh, oh no. I think if she would have taken that role and done it well, I think she'd be a bigger more of an A-list actress today. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Because I think that... Because she didn't take a lot of big roles back then. She right. never really has. Right. And Buffy was really her, her main role to date. And and then playing Velma... Or not right. Velma, but Daphne. Right. But, like, for her, I think if she would have taken the role and did really well with it, she could have been I more than just... I thought the same thing. I thought that would have been a, a better... Queen. That would have no. been a good... Yeah, you know, a good lifting done. off point for her, it's, like it's really building up her platform. Sarah Michelle Geller, because I, I forget every time that I read that she's married to Freddie Prince. Yeah. Like, I always forget that, and then I read it, and I'm like, oh. He's <laughs> <laughs> one of those guys who was, like, super handsome back in the day, but the older he gets, the worse he looks. Like, he looks more and more like. Oh, uh, I didn't really see that. Eh, I don't know. I mean. I wouldn't say he's like devastatingly handsome, but I didn't really have a thing for him back in the day. Either, I think so. he was handsome back in the day, but now I just feel like he's not aging as well. Well, I mean, to be fair, she doesn't look so great anymore either. That's true. I yeah. mean, I mean, you're aging. You know At least mean? they do it naturally, unlike all yeah, of these exactly. fuckers. Yeah, exactly. That's, you know that's what, what I'm like, saying. You can give them that much, and like, they do. None of us they actually as try good to. As we did, you know, ten years ago. They're the type. Right they're the type of couple though that actually like try to eat and stay healthy and, and they love each other yeah. like they're and they very actually do devoted love each to other, each yeah. other yeah. So. and their kids and everything yeah i've always yeah. heard i've never heard anything bad about good them. on yeah, them yeah. good for them for sure <laughs> uh scorsese then chose sarah poly or poly i'm not so sure how you say that um for the part um she was in the dawn of the dead remake that's the that's oh the one. She's, she's the, the blonde nurse. girl yeah yeah she'd have been all right for this i thought yeah. so too but um the studio wouldn't let her let her let him keep her so the studio insisted that he pick a more bankable actress she's another one who probably would have had a high really really raised her up on that platform yeah. well the studio wouldn't let it happen she i thought she was great like she was a uh, really oh, good she part was amazing and dawn of the yeah, dead i thought she was, she was awesome so yeah but the studio wouldn't let it happen so enter cameron diaz that's, Screw the studios, man. Know, that's why Diaz, I couldn't be a. That's why I couldn't be. Everybody a hates on her, man. I don't think she did a bad job. She I didn't don't do think a she did. I didn't think she did a bad job. Yeah, so. I mean, not as bad as like you know. I was I was expecting like as soon as she came on screen, I'm like, that's it. I fucking hate yeah, it. Yeah, that's kind of. It wasn't. That's kind of how I saw it too. But like, I've seen her in other shit, and she's ruined movies for me before. But this movie, I don't think she did poorly at all. Well, and she wasn't exactly on screen. No, she very wasn't. Often, like, yeah. so not not. She's not. She wasn't like up. a big focal point of the movie, right? Other than being the love interest, you yeah. know what I mean. So that's it for trivia. Okay, now we do next week, and we're doing the questions again. <laughs> Aaron's over here punching tables, <laughs> punching tables, Karen's punching all, microphones. Karen's yeah. all mad. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> but, uh, uh, so we're asking questions to see what movie you're picking. Yes. Does it have an airplane in it? Uh, He's thinking like the little well, with an airplane. Well, technically, it, yes, it does. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wait, it's, a, it's a Christmas movie, right? It Dad, is. you son of a bitch. That was supposed to be my question. <laughs> well, you should have jumped in there and asked it. <laughs> I couldn't. It was his turn. Uh, It is, in fact... It is a Christmas movie in the vein that Die Hard is a Christmas movie. So very rare. Is Santa well, in it? I can't remember. <sighs> Probably. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the same vein, which means that Christmas has to be happening in order for the plot to happen. That's the... No. Well... Yeah, yeah that's the... Kind of, yeah. That's yeah. Die Hard. Yes. That, that's the... That's yeah. the 
That's, it, that's what has to happen for it to be a Christmas it's, movie. Hey, some people consider it a fucking Christmas movie. Is it reindeer games? No. Good guess, though. <laughs> no, I had this conversation with my kid the other day. Like, that's what happened. That's... That's the definition of a Christmas movie. That's why Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Because without it being Christmas, the Christmas party wouldn't be happening. Therefore, John McClane wouldn't be there. Well, uh, the Christmas part, there is... Is Chuck Norris in? No. So uh, if, it, if it's one a of us, Christmas one of movie, us is going to have to pick a, a movie with Chuck Norris. If it wasn't for it being Christmas, then the plot... The, f- the plot, plot relies on it being Christmas. The plot is furthered by it being Christmas. Okay. All right. Then I'm satisfied. Okay. All right, let's move forward. Is it an action um, movie? Yes. Of course it is. Come on. He said Die Hard. Um, <laughs> is Bruce Willis in it? No. Damn. No, he's not. Steven Seagal? <laughs> <laughs> I've just been seeing a lot of pictures of him lately. No. <laughs> like, that would be your luck. Like, it's got to be it. <laughs> is it a 90s movie? Yes. Okay. Then there is it. Early 90s not or really. late 90s? Early 90s. <clears throat> Lethal Weapon. No. Damn. Lethal, Christmas was going on in Lethal Weapon? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Haven't Very seen first scene is uh, uh, Jingle Bell Rock. I haven't mm-hmm. seen Le- Lethal Weapon in forever. I haven't either. I just remember that. Do you know they came out with a series of that? Yeah, it was terrible. I never watched they it. They fired the just, first guy that was supposed to be playing. Uh, uh, yeah. The guy who Mel plays Gibson's character Mel Gibson's characters. Uh, the guy from American Pie, Stifler. Yeah, no, 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 no. They brought him in as that guy's cousin oh, because yeah. they had to fire the first guy because he was so hard to work with. Well, because the things on Hulu and all I see is the picture, and then one of them, right. the, the uh, guy who plays the black guy is one of the Mil- Williams, yeah, yeah, Williams or yeah. something. Yeah, like Damon that. Williams or something. Anyway, questions. Yeah, I already asked mine. You're up. You're up. Oh, I've just been asking questions randomly. Not related to that though. Um, is Bruce Will? Do we already asked Bruce Willis. <laughs> <laughs> That's is why it I got a cop movie. Uh, no, no. Okay, so it's not a cop movie. It's not. Oh shit, dude. I don't know any Christmas. It has a plane in it. It's a '90s movie. It's an action movie. It's a Christmas movie. That doesn't help me at all. Um, action movie '90s. Who's in that shit? It's like one of the only action Christmas movies I know is Reindeer Games. I've never even seen that. That's not a Christmas movie, though. Really? <laughs> it happens during It happens Christmas. during well, I guess they, consider it, they actually do consider it yeah, a Christmas movie. I guess movie. it is. That's of, why yeah. I said Reindeer Games and Joseph's like, no, but good try. Yeah, that's fair. That was on my radar, though. It was it? Yeah. I was like, nah, nobody cares about that fucking movie. Uh, Bad Santa. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God, because I'm not watching that, and that's not that's not an action movie. So oh, movie's funny as shit. Um, mm, mm. I'm still waiting for somebody to pick a movie one day, and I go, yeah, I'm just I'm not watching that. But you have to. No, I don't. I don't have to do what I don't want to do. <laughs> mm. Can't tell me what to do. I'm an adult, Karen. Mm. <laughs> I threw it on the ground. <laughs> mm. One of the only things I like by him. <laughs> mm. Come on, you guys, ask questions. You're not getting anywhere by not asking a question. I don't have any good questions. I feel like I'm the terrible. best. You are. You are. I'm, I'm <laughs> terrible at this game. It's too open-ended for me. Too uh, open-ended. You guys are creative. I am not. Is, you is, just have to ask all. questions. Is ask it, questions. Is, is it sci-fi? Nope. Uh... uh not really. No. Where is action? It's I, action. I don't know. Doesn't mean it's not sci-fi. You're the one that says it can't it's be not two sci-fi. things. It's not sci-fi. You're right. It's not. It's not sci- sci-fi. No. Remember, horror comedy's not a thing. Can't be two things. Other things like that exist. Just not horror comedy. Shut up. <laughs> Say horror comedy. Horror comedy. <laughs> Such a hypocrite. Um. I need a hint. And you're a hypocrite. Uh-huh. You need a hint? <laughs> <sighs> it's hurtful. <laughs> uh, fuck. Uh, I'm sorry. I hear. <laughs> um, uh, it was... Man, I don't know how to give you a hint without giving it away. You gotta think of these hints, man. I know. we're gonna yeah. ask. Especially me, because I'm not creative and I suck at this game. Um, most of the people in this movie... We're known for mostly comedy movies. 
My thing is, but this movie is not a comedy. So it's not like that act is the type. Of, it's not the type of action movie that has like funny. It has funny moments, and it's got. And it, uh, let me put it like I'll give you another hint. It's it's most of it. Everybody in this movie, except for the exception of maybe one, is known for doing comedy movies. But this movie has a very. It's not really comedy, although it is. It can be comedy. It has that. It's like how action movies have comedy in it, but it's not comedy. Right. Exactly. Kind of. Yeah. And and it's it's kind of it's got its campier moments, but they're not meant to be campy. Did Tremors take part during Halloween? I mean Christmas. No. No. It's in a desert. Like, that doesn't mean they don't have Christmas. Christmas. No, deserts don't have Christmas. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so hot. It's just so hot. <laughs> the they, cactus not coming here. They, they, they don't have a Christmas tree. They have a Christmas cactus. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Um, is there a well-known action star in it? Uh, is it Ernest Saves Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, nobody in this movie. I'll even get, tell you this: nobody in this movie is an action star. Yeah, that doesn't help at all. Nineties, nobody's. Is it Ernest Saves Christmas? No. <laughs> You're. I'm just starting to ask questions that I know aren't. Mm. I, I know, know. I know. There's gonna be somebody though. listening to this, just like screaming. I don't think not yet. Because not yet. <laughs> you guys haven't asked enough to like <laughs> give anything away. Man, like I nailed it on his last week. This is bullshit. Uh. Mm, is the is the main like hero person a dude? Yes. Okay. Of course she is. Does it have a love story in it? Uh, a weak one at best. Not really. No. Okay. Um. Is it is it a heist movie? Is there a heist? Uh. Sure. I've been in the mood for a heist movie. Not really. No. It's not a heist movie, really. I have I like heist movies though, but no, not this. In the 90s. Is it one of the Oceans movies? No. <laughs> you gotta use the clues that you have. You can't ask things that are way out. Throwing in the random movie. shit out there. <laughs> I'll tell you this. Reindeer Games and the Oceans movies have this in common. Mel Gibson. No. Wait. Ben Affleck. No. Tom Hanks. What? <laughs> No, that's what that's Lady Killer. Is it a bank? No. I mean, there's a probably a bank in the movie somewhere, but I don't remember all the questions that were asked. You already said. Ben. Uh, I will say this: there is a. I, I take it back. There is a heist. There's a jewelry heist. But it's obviously not a very big part of the movie if you forgot about it. Oh, what's the it. movie with Bill, Billy Bob Thornton and the no, other guy? That's, that's who, not it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Talking about Matchstick Men? I think that is yeah, it. No, it's not that. That's not even a Christmas movie. No, I, don't Christmas I don't know. I haven't seen... I don't. I, I, like My problem is coming up with the Chris, Christmas movies. I'm very limited on my Christmas movies. Uh... Matt, you want to call in that hint? Oh, you already gave a hint, but yeah, sure. I gave her a you, hint. Yeah, I already called my hint. Yeah, we but both get a hint. Oh, it was the same. It was. I just okay, threw a hint yeah. out there. Okay, well, it, um, this movie has Christopher Walken in it. I think there's a movie I'm thinking of, but I don't know what it's called. Start asking questions about it. I don't remember much about it, besides the fact that it has Christopher Walken. <laughs> Is there a semi in it? (laughs) (laughs) No, I don't think so. (laughs) I think I'm thinking of reindeer games that don't have Christopher Walken in it. (laughs) I think he just really wants to watch reindeer games. (laughs) Fuck it! We're watching reindeer games next week, guys. (laughs) He's stuck on (laughs) (laughs) The funny thing is I don't know if I've ever seen it. Does that have Brad Pitt in it? 
reindeer games? <laughs> no, it's got <laughs> Ben Affleck in it. <laughs> oh, okay, that is the movie. I'm Does playing. it have Brad Pitt in it? No. <laughs> oh. Christopher Walken, Christmas, 90s, jewelry heist. Have I seen this movie? <laughs> oh, yeah, you've seen this movie. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Is that a fat boy slim boot music video? No. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the 90s, man. That was definitely the early 2000s. <laughs> was it a fat boy slim music video? <laughs> Still one of the best music videos of all time. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Does it have a dog in it? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Is it blast from the past? Uh, no. I would guess Christopher any- Walken is in that. <laughs> Doesn't? <isn't it? laughs> is there an explosion? Yes. Okay. There's explosions. Explosions. Okay. That doesn't help me. No, at all. no, it's an action movie. There's gonna be explosions. Is it one of the Fast and Furious movies? Mm. No, none of them were in the nineties. That's true. <laughs> 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 and did any of them have Christopher Walken in it? I don't think. No, so. I don't think I don't so. Know. I didn't see past like six or seven. I don't think I saw past two. <laughs> I didn't see the one. I've seen all of them. Have you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't see. Getting right out, come with the tenth one. Oh. I hope it's the last one. Because <laughs> you don't want to watch them anymore. No, they're great. I'll keep watching them as long as they keep making them. <laughs> I, I didn't see past the one with the uh, with the with the vault dragon from the car. That was like one of the newer ones, yeah. <sighs> okay, so there's a plane. Uh, this is what we have, Matt. There's a plane. Christopher Walken, nineties. Explosions, Christmas movie, and all the people that were in it were comedians. No, comedic actors. Comedic actors. They weren't stand-up comedians. Well, one of them was. Karen, I don't know. I don't either. I'm just telling you what we have. You guys are not. Are good you at this sure game. that I know? I I told you this is too open ended for me. I am not creative. Is it on Netflix? No. Is it on Hulu? No. Then I might have to borrow it. It's on HBO Max right now. Ah, so yeah, I don't even. That still doesn't help me. Ninja uh, Turtles. Nope, that's not a Warner Brothers property. Oh yeah, it is actually. I think it is now. Actually, I don't know. I think Nickelodeon knows that or something. I don't fuck. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> um, is the bad? I don't know. There's two bad guys. Is Christopher Walken one of the bad guys? There's three bad guys. But yes, he's one of them. All of a sudden, just changes the game. But he's not a pivotal role in the movie. So he dies. That's what I'm getting. He does die. Yeah, that's what I'm getting out of it. And that sounds familiar. Fuck. Doesn't help me, though. Are you sure I've seen this movie? Yes, you've seen this Can movie. Can I have another hint? Oh, my God. For the sake <laughs> of this going forward, uh, this movie also has... <sighs> Fuck, what else do I say without giving it away? Um... We need to come up with like a certain number of questions or a certain amount of time that was given to where if we don't find it out. Well, I can't help you guys suck. Just I warned you. Because <laughs> one of the uh, movies I got I picked. I know my limits. Since you made me pick a Christmas movie, the next movie after the Christmas movie that I got to pick, nobody's going to guess. All right. Well, how about this? That's uh, a challenge. This is my final hint. Mm-hmm. a hard movie that he can't even you come suck up I don't want to give away any hint because it's going to give it away um, give it away give it away give it away now <laughs> <laughs> he's full of it son. Uh, this movie is fuck um, I know it's fuck part of it takes place under or, uh, the last part of the movie the climax of the movie takes place in a sewer. A uh, sewer. Oh, that doesn't help. Is it Reservoir Dogs? No. 
I don't know what that is. A sewer. That is never in a sewer. Reservoir I don't know. Dogs. I've never seen Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> in a sewer? Yes. Do they live in the sewer? Someone does, yes. One of them do. The but One of the bad guys. Is it a nice part of the sewers? There's it's a, a nice very part. it's a very nice sewer actually. It's you, very you, you can actually there's there's parts of the sewers that you can fix up. Look at the turtles. <laughs> well, they live in a subway, but But yeah. first they lived in a sewer. True. Mm. 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 This is this is not helpful mm. at all. Nope. Yeah, Karen, you're the cinephile here. I'm I'm a cinephile, but I am not creative, which means that if you don't give me like something to work with, I suck. Okay. I, I can't come up with things. I'll like give you one head. last big ass hint. That's okay. what I said about the last time. Uh I'll take it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> fuck, fuck it. It's got Danny DeVito in it. <laughs> okay, Danny DeVito. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Walking. Is it twins? Oh, Batman <laughs> no. Returns. Batman Returns. Oh my god, really? <laughs> yeah. I forgot. I forgot Christopher Walken was in okay. that. Oh but my why, god. But why? Why were you saying like this was so easy to figure out? Because like, it's fucking Batman. Okay, it's fucking Batman. You start like, naming actors like it's got Christopher Walken mm-hmm. from the early nineties. It's got. You could have said Michael Keaton. I don't want to say Michael Keaton because that gives it away. Uh-huh. I didn't even want to say Danny DeVito. Well, as soon as you said Danny DeVito, and then you were saying like sewers, and, and I was like, oh, the penguin, yeah. He don't live in a sewer. Yeah, he does. No, yeah. he lives. Uh, that's not a sewer. That is the sewer. Yeah, it is Are a you sewer. Because yes. just because uh, I thought it was a penguin enclosure. No, Bottom it's, of, a it's a like sewer. under, no, okay, under he, part he of the penguin enclosure. He comes from the sewer, and then like that's where he was, and then he comes out, and then at the end he goes back. And that's where Selena, Kyle, and and Christopher Walken, and they like. They all die in the sewer except for Selena Kyle. Yeah, she's got nine lives. Yeah. Well, after the movie, probably like four or five. But yeah, she used a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so next week we are watching Batman Returns. I'm fucking stoked. Yeah. See, I, I told you you'd be I, happy about it. I need fucking to. Stoked. I forgot that was during Christmas. I might I actually to. watch the first one, too. I thought, like, I was like, man, I'd hate to watch this one without watching the first one. So I went ahead and ordered all four of them on Blu ray in a, in a set. So you, you consider? Well, I guess they are kind of part of. They're the all part of the same thing. Well, they all came in a set, so I was like, "Ah, eh, fuck it." Yeah, no, I get it. Uh, I get it. Batman Forever wasn't terrible. Well, I'm probably yeah. I didn't think it was terrible either. I'm probably going to need to borrow the movie. That's fine. I don't <laughs> know. You get it back to me that before. Actually, we'll figure it out. I'll get it. Yeah, but I don't know when it's coming. It's supposed to be here the fifth, I think. So. But yeah, so next week we are watching uh, Batman Returns with Michael Keaton. The best Batman. Michelle Pfeiffer. Uh, oh, do I need to do a Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken. Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito. <sighs> do I need to do a plot synopsis or does everybody know I'm pretty who sure the everybody, fuck yeah, Batman is and fucking, what he does when he returns? It's fucking Nam Tab, okay? Nam Tab. That's Batman, That's Batman backwards. backwards. Okay. Nerds. <laughs> We're nerds. <laughs> really? <laughs> all right. So anyway, next week, Batman Returns. I hope you guys were all going nuts with this whole trying to guess the movie thing because I, I'll tell you I, was. I warned you. Hey, I'm doing the outro. I'm the host. Have at it, Hoss. Okay. Next week, Batman. <laughs> Batman Returns. what? Batman returns. returns. So, so bye. Okay, <laughs> <So> bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> <laughs>
That was a good one. That was a very that good one. That was my mic check. <laughs>